Trash, trash to Cash podcast episode 130. Take three. Great technical difficulties. <laughs> yes. Who's got their phone ringing too? That was, that, was that was me. That was me. That was me. We're doing really good <laughs> today. Such really good. This Take is... seven. Uh, Sixteen minutes in, and we're finally starting. Okay. Mm. Uh, How hello. did this podcast get a one out of ten last week? I don't know. I don't know. I, Nobody well, okay. knows. My name's Dave, ADH yeah, Dave. It is. With me, as so. always, is Carrie, the American Arbitrage guy. Hello, friends. Uh, not anymore, though. American Arbitrage Cards guy. And then down below yeah. is Coppin' Wealthy, 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 oh, Wealthy, Wealthy. so much money. Piles picker. of money. There's just bags of money below the, the mm-hmm. screen there, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he, he eats money for breakfast. <laughs> he does. Uh, okay, so. Protein. I don't know. I'm all thrown off. This was mm. weird. I'm apparently... <laughs> You know, an S corp now, Kevin. I'm all right, paying all right, payroll all right. taxes, which just seems like I'm giving the government more money for no good no, reason. But maybe incorrect. it'll work out in the end. Because you have to pay you you got to pay pay the self employment tax on yeah. all of that money unless you're doing this way. You only pay the self employment tax but on I just that part pay of it. it at the end of the year, as opposed yes. to okay. Yes. So yeah, we'll see. I don't know. It's all very confusing. I'm just glad that it's I the use right my reseller do. genie yes. link down below, which I don't link even use. Below. But you know, save there money is no on link. It. You took all the uh, links out ADHD. of the stuff Dave. below. I gotta yeah, go and yeah. fix all the nonsense you did. You just got the Patreon out there, Dave's Patreon. Yeah. Exactly, guys. Do we have any available uh, like motivational spots or anything? I probably have to do those, don't I? You are late time. again, shockingly. Yes. Yeah, yes, you are but late you know again. it's gonna be good. It's gonna be worth it. That's really. What's I important. hope so because there's a lot of people that message me. They're like, "Am I ever gonna get motivated?" And, do they really uh, do that? Who's <laughs> doing that? I'm like, listen, I can't make him do things he doesn't want to do. If you were a card no, and you case. were for that sale, don't even think about it. I forget. If you were a card and you were a dollar, he'd give you the time of day. But otherwise, he's not interested in you at all. <laughs> that's not it. That's okay, not so it. I'm just, uh, I'm a free spirit. There's a lot going on in the world. My brain's all over the place. A lot of poop, a lot of pee. Did you see my video uh, hmm. where the girls picked my orders and someone peed on the I floor? I did. I, I didn't classic. see that part. I watched quite a bit, but I didn't see. I didn't Dude, it was get in to the that first far. minute and a half. So thanks for no, watching. No, that's not. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? I watched Literally, the first. The well, maybe first I, minute like, and a half. And someone out. peed on the floor. If so, you yeah. watch, if you watch the episodes where I'm picking the orders, every I think I've been in four. Every one, there's an Easter egg in there. There was a moment where I peed. Yeah, he there was. Pees you have to everyone. find it though. He pees I, in every just, single one. I pee in everything and everywhere. But what? What the video taught me. The video taught me that. And I don't know why I haven't. Been You're not doing necessary. This all along, no. What it taught me is like if I ever have friends in a video or a private pick, I'm turning off the comments. It is not worth the emotional yeah. stress. Oh, see, I thought you turned it off from the get go. No, I didn't. I turned it on, no. and then got we had tears in the house, and so it got turned off. And that's just no. like you know, wow. people are just brutal. <clears throat> people are yeah. brutal for no good reason, and it's like. Like that private pick, like it was a really nice person. I did the private pick with a couple weeks or months back, and that relationship's yep. kind of ruined because the comments People. were so brutal. And so, yeah. like, I'm I think for private picks, I'm not going to even turn on comments anymore. Yeah. I, I think I'm done. I mean, do you leave them on for private picks, Kev? Or you don't really do many private picks? Uh, I do a few. I actually have one coming up. It is tough, especially when you know the people. You know, like I've done private picks with one of my old coaches. I did one with um a parent of some kids i used to coach and teach and yeah it makes you a little nervous because you mm-hmm. you know they're they're acquaintances or friends of yours for years and you don't want to yeah you know you ruin the relationship based on what yeah. other people are saying which is and other people say yeah. stuff that's they say just crazy a fact stuff yeah so it yeah just, it exhausting. it's like 99 percent of people don't comment or say anything they just watch and then mm-hmm. there's like a good percentage that is kind or has something positive to say mm-hmm. and then there's just the there's like that little little point zero two percent that can't help but vomit out whatever's in their head at all times. It's kind of like you, but it's like, but it's like, like the Worse. devil on the shoulder. Malicious, you. The like un- the malicious Dave, which you're not, but <laughs> yeah. like a malicious yeah. Dave. No, it was annoying, but anyways, I thought the video was very cute. It was like a mm-hmm. fun idea, and I, you know, I did nothing and still got like what thousands of views yeah. i don't even know how many but many thousand views i don't yeah. remember how many yeah that's true so and they pulled my orders and they only couldn't find I a couple things i actually went to comment on it and i'm like oh 
comments yeah. are off. I'm like, that was a good move, Dave, but yeah, it, it was just a little too enough. late. <laughs> well, okay. So I, I, I texted strategy. you. I texted you an insult about your face. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I could get well, that out I of had my this, system. I had this plan in this strategy. I was going to put it live, see how the comments came in, and if they were good. Like, I wasn't saying when it was going to go live, right? I didn't say what time of day it was going to go live to the stars of the show. And uh, so my plan was like 30 minutes after it goes live, I'll go in, I'll check the comments, see if they're okay, see if people are being, you know, humans or subhumans, whatever, mm -hmm. see kind of way they, and then I would decide if I want to turn off comments or not. And sadly, <sighs> Brandon asked me while we're picking, he's like, when's the video go live? I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. He's like, isn't it going live already? I'm like, Shh, Brandon, it's going to stop. I didn't look at the comments yet. He's like, oh. But it was too late. It was too late. <laughs> I had a, I had a, I had a person like basically this week. Don grabbed a couple packs of sports cards for me at the Target because I was I was probably sound asleep. It was you know only two in the afternoon. Oh, you're gonna blame this on Don? I can no, see no, it. No, 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 no. I'm not blaming it. it. No, it was. Yeah, they yeah, were messed yeah. up. They were they were saying that's not you. Don't have a girlfriend. That's not your girlfriend's hand. That's you know if it's your that's right your hand. Your hand, girlfriend. Carrie. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, it doesn't take that much. I literally open boxes like ninety percent of those videos you can see i don't have any tattoos and, and dawn has an <laughs> you, you know you a ton of tattoos, on her tattoos hands. all over your yeah, hands exactly mm -hmm. my guys it's just it's the it's not the comment so much that bothers me it's just the laziness of mm -hmm. just not even mm -hmm. doing a little bit of research before you comment yeah and pretty much yeah. none of the comments were val were, were valid even they were just people being mean for, for well, i had a meanness i, I love that, really I, I love the comments I, I put a goodwill video out another one and then i put one out on facebook and i love the comments of people who clearly they only read the title or looked at the thumbnail and leave a comment based on it they had there's no oh chance they they watch the video and it's like who does that who would even take the time to comment on yeah, something they didn't watch negative comments should only be uh, like seriously evil people you know what i mean just like if jeffrey dahmer had a page he should get bad comments kevin Kevin deserves most of what he gets. No, I think that's Kevin actually what he deserves is an Emmy because I watched one of his recent Flipper what? videos. What? He is such a good actor. I watched one of his recent Flipper videos oh, and the acting in it. The acting in it was what? like, sold <laughs> this, <Golly> gee. <laughs> sold this, and it only took two years, and I only made $200. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so done flipping. Like, literally, <laughs> that's like the first it's five minutes over, of the video. It's only the seventh time I've oh used that title gosh. this month. He no, it was a reaction. Was trying to be it wasn't sarcastic. the whole time. Listen, Kevin. It the, was the thing is five sales. The idea, the concept was people cute. liked that it video. Was cutesy, yeah, it was cutesy. But the acting, like, was it supposed to be that over the top bad? Because it was like really <laughs> bad acting. It, like, it was supposed to be. It was the okay, point. It was okay. sarcasm. It, it was, was sarcasm. aggressively mediocre sarcasm. I even said what I was gonna do and That's like alluded to it. Yeah. Who wants to make those shirts for Kevin? Uh, aggressively mm. mediocre. I well, you've got these videos. Okay, speaking oh, of hey, which, speaking of t-shirts, check this out, y'all. Check this out. Coming on my right auction soon. Oh, honest Tim for president. This will be it. on my <laughs> this will be on my auction shortly, folks. There Merry we go. Christmas 2023. Thank you. Jeez, 46 yeah. Reagan. <laughs> Starting bid fifty dollars. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come by and grab it. Guess what? Yeah. He, he's what? he's keeping all the money. There's no oh, not a dollar going no, anywhere else. It's no. all going <sighs> straight to Dave. <laughs> Straight to the hey, pile. Speaking of charity, this this shirt is currently over on dibdit.com right now on auction. I just put it there. It's already got three bids up to eleven dollars. It's honest Tim for president. If you watch my picker channel a lot, you know what the heck it's all about. So I, go check yeah. it out. I remember yeah. honest Tim from your old videos. I have make the picking name. make oh you're gonna meet him. You're gonna come up and meet him. Make picking great again. Dude, let's we need to talk about that a little bit here. Okay, so first of all, it's a horrible financial decision for me to go up there for that sale. Don't come. I but I my kids are excited about, you know, the mm -hmm. trip and stuff, so I feel like I have to. But mm -hmm. you know, I went to the Browns this weekend and it was so stinking good yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was it was awesome. And uh, I'm a little sad cuz only once a month and it's it happens to fall at the same time as this highway sale, which is not worth anyone traveling to, by the way. That's not me just being competitive, Kevin. Yeah, it's, no, I'm no. confident it's not worth traveling to, but I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> uh, but I, I need to figure out, like, is it is it a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday sale, or is it a Thursday, Friday sale? Like, what's the... It is a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday sale, but there's nothing going on whatsoever on Sunday, and okay. it's one of those you could you're gonna you're gonna hit the same place. It's not like where you could go one day and you can just drive for days, right? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. It's it, you know you're gonna hit the same areas, 
and they'll have more sales on Friday and a few different ones on Saturday, that kind of thing. It is truly not. And I mean, it's, I mean, I like it because it's something around here and there's usually nothing around here. So. Well, okay. So this is where I'm at. Like but I just not. spent plenty of time with Brandon. I just had my Brandon fill. And so now I'm like, man, if I'm going to go up there, I want to go pick him with mm -hmm. Tim. Is there any way I can pick with Tim at all while well, I'm up there? Well, this is my yeah. goal. Yes, I, I know are, are exactly Are you going to pick how. as a crew of like 30 people? Or are I you know, guys splitting up? What's the plan? No, I don't think there is a plan. Usually this year I'm not going to – I'm going to maybe pick a little bit with some other folks. And I might go out on my own a couple days. I've so. picked with Rod. I'm picking with Rod all next weekend. I'm yeah. picking with Mike all next weekend. I've picked with mm -hmm. Eric. I want to go picking with him. Yeah, this is Tim. My, my dream Tim. in life is to go pick them. I will so. warn you. I will warn you Dude, if you pick with Tim. all over me now. Don't order the freaking ornament. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will. Oh, I, I, like will. I just went to the hey, glitter factory with Tom. I'm to make a, a point about yeah. that later, but okay, I'll, I'll but do it what? later. Hey, Tim is a meticulous I picker. I kind of am becoming that too. Like where you're there okay. for a long time. Yeah. Too. Mm -hmm. I'm becoming I that well. too lately. You are not, Carrie. Me yes, and Don. How do you know? Long time. You don't know me. I've been picking with you. You're fantastic to I've changed to this pick weekend. With. I changed this weekend. <laughs> you don't weekend. buy anything. <laughs> no. I, I did. I bought, I bought a whole bunch of sports cards that, you know, questionable. <laughs> I love it. Right. Tim, over the years, I'm calling you out. No, you uh, here's how you do it. I want to pick just... with you. Put him on a podcast. Let him let him be on the podcast. He's and then so he's, good. He really is so good. I was listening to Reseller Information He's Network, good. I, I've been telling you this went, for years. I know, I know. And he, well, you know, it's just he's like as good as me. So when we're together, it's like overwhelming goodness. <laughs> but uh, All right, the, me and Carrie will him do it. The, <laughs> him on the RIN with uh, his Mercari rant. Mm -hmm. It's like everything I've said over five videos, but he did it very mm -hmm. concisely in like mm -hmm. eight minutes and covered every topic mm -hmm. I've talked about. Yep. And uh, yeah, it was really. And I'm gonna on. do my Mercari video. I've decided. I, I decided I'd wait, and I waited. I'm gonna do yeah. mine. So I'm That's gonna take in. Shout out means... over the years, sports, which is my favorite channel of Tim's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Tim's been really killing cool. it. He's blowing up, man. He's been doing yeah, his good car lately. channel is is blowing up right nice. now. He's nice. a star. I'm telling you. Well, so so what happened is this weekend I sold more on Mercari. Wow. Than eBay. All the way up until tonight at like 7 p.m. I was at like nine Mercari sales. So you didn't quit Mercari like sales. every other reseller did? Well, that's the crazy thing. Everyone's quitting because of a $2 withdrawal fee. And I'm selling more than ever on Mercari. Right? Right, Dude, I've been doing instant transfers this whole time. So I'm like, uh, that... that's what Tim said. That's what Tim said. Tim said, <laughs> I, I already my money pay for now instant and you transfers. You have three bucks. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> What? I don't do it either. I'm with you, Kevin. Yeah. I don't do instant transfers either. <laughs> I don't do instant transfer. the same thing. Dude, because like, how am I going to buy dinner if I don't have that $19 <laughs> for Macari? Dude. Historically, that's mm. been the case in the past, like years like, ago. Like, I will make month. sure. Like, it, it drives me crazy to go to an eight. Like, I try to get all the money I need before I go on the road. Because if I got to pay, you know, 250 and 350 for an ATM transaction, I'm ticked. I don't even have a local bank, so I pay the fee all the time. So yeah. that's, yeah. Four dollars. Either in Vegas. Nine hundred eighty dollars is my yeah, withdrawal, and then so it ends up being nine eighty four. So your time. argument from Mercari is, yeah, who cares about them taking more money from us? I'm just, I'm used who to me? it. I give money to everybody, both of you. No, it doesn't no, matter my... to me at all. It honestly doesn't matter to me. And if people leave the platform, they're that's taking just less. More... Yeah. As long what? as you don't withdraw after you have ten dollars, yeah, yeah they're exactly. Taking less. Don't exactly. It's two percent instead of ten if you wait exactly. till you have a hundred bucks. So, so just wait till you have a hundred, or wait till you have, in my case, ten thousand. Yeah, and then take and it then out. Just withdraw it. I mean, that's that's okay. the way I do it. Okay. I sold that sauce card, by the way. I think that's his name. What's it? Sauce the... Gardener, man. Yeah, Jets. I sold seventeen ninety nine. Seven. Yeah. Seventeen ninety nine is what I got for it. Sports guy. Yeah. Sports guy. I love it, dude. Yeah, well done. Good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also I'm found out there's a NASCAR, sales, Kevin, so far, a NASCAR dude. poster where a guy Nobody flashes asked his junk. Did you know about this poster? There's a bolo. It's a it's a NASCAR poster. There's like five guys, and then one of the guys in the back row, his you know what? I've his, heard his, something about this. And this, this was like but mass I, produced to some level. His stick shift was out. And uh, we went to the flea market, the close one, and the guy's like, "Oh, I just sold this one where you could see the guys' privates." And Brandon's like, "You you have that?" He was like, "You oh, messaged guys, like, no, me about that." Well, Brandon got the excited. The day about you it. found it, excited. He knew that. <laughs> you were. You were adamant about sending me the picture, and then I don't even think you ever sent me the picture. Which, I never found you. it. I couldn't find. It. Brandon showed it to me on his phone. You and then I oh, you to couldn't ask him find. It. What does it go for? Two hundred. Two hundred bucks. Two hundred. Two hundred bucks for that poster. It's like that one Carrie always talks about with F face on the bat, the baseball yep. bat. 
Billy there's Ripken. a lot of those. Yeah, yeah errors like stuff. especially in the '80s. And I was telling you about there's another one, Randy Johnson's rookie card mm-hmm. that had the Marlboro sign in the background, and there's different variations of them trying to get the Marlboro sign blacked out. Basically, yeah, okay. if you find one with the full cigarette ad. That's like twenty, thirty bucks for like a two dollar yeah. card. So, yeah, okay. there's a lot of that. Oh. Nervery. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm just out here finding Fenton, you know. I, I'm and so I need a Fenton, Fenton bro. Now you are, you are, you are, skills. you are sunny Las Florida. I found sunny Las Palm Coast. The flea market. Will you just do me a favor when you're here, Dave? Will you not be like picking is so much better in Florida the whole time you're here? I don't no, want to hear. I don't need to. I don't need to. I don't want to. It's hear. a known thing. I think everyone okay. understands at this point. And I'll tell you um, what, I have been thoroughly enjoying being home picking for the first time in a long time and going out to sales. There's very few, so like I might hit five and maybe one on a Friday, but I have really, really loved it. There's, I drive like for two hours and I hit five sales, but it's hmm. been fun again because it's like I see the same four pickers out there and that's it. But you're picking stuff that's like out in the country and there's nobody like I'm, I ask them, how many people went to the sale days? Like, oh, we've had three. It's 10 o'clock. Well, and I love been, it. I've been picking with a lot of people. And uh, this was the first time I picked with someone that I felt was very competitive against me. Like, Brandon's wife. Yes. she. Uh, you've picked, I guess you probably picked against her before. <laughs> She's a very competitive picker. Yeah. To the point yeah. where, like, it almost brought out the competitive in me at, mm-hmm, at some point. Almost. So I'm like, I don't, like, I kind of like more chill, like, team picking where I'm like, yo, Rod, you like those. Go grab them. Carrie, grab the cards. You know, Don, go look at that MCM. I'm going to go. You know, but it wasn't that. It was more like cutthroat. It was interesting for sure. But there was this one sale that kind of put me straight into emo mode. Uh, not really, though, because I walk in and to the left, there's one of those little orange, like, pumpkin blow molds. You know the, you know what I'm talking about? The tiny, yeah. easy yeah. to ship ones that I'll mm-hmm. actually list and sell for 70 yeah. bucks or whatever. Yeah. So there was that one in mint condition, and then right next to it, there was something else. Oh, a little piece of, two pieces of Fenton, two Fenton vases, right? Mm-hmm. And and I'm asking him how much, and he's like, he's like, uh, the pumpkin's a dollar, and those glass things are 50 cents each, right? This mm-hmm. it was one of those sales. Like, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> His wife comes out. I'm like, do you have any more Fenton? She's like, what's that? I don't have any Fenton. I'm like, <laughs> glass. <"All right>, cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, more ugly but, glass. But so I see on this table next to the Fenton, like something catches my eye, and like I instantly have this reaction, like oh that's so cool like i want to buy mm-hmm. this right and i reach over and i touch it and i'm like oh it's not glass that's you know maybe it's not as good as i thought and it also was like kind of coming apart when i touch it. i'm like oh and it's broken i guess i don't need that but when the prices are that low and you have a gut reaction you probably should just freaking put it in your pile right and so i walk away right <laughs> and jen's like oh my gosh look at these lucite candlesticks and i'm like Oh, I've heard the word lucite before. Lucite, yeah. I didn't the know grapes, what it was. You mean? The yeah. Yeah. They, they had both candlesticks no, and candles. grapes. They had both candlesticks and the grapes. And I was like, they're so beautiful. But they, when they weren't glass, and it seemed like they kind of came apart, mm-hmm. and they weren't very like, they didn't feel very quality really. They just feel like plastic. I was like, oh, that's probably garbage. And I just walked away. And she was like singing for the rest of the day because like yeah, $200 I told you, dude, worth of lucite. You said you found the old vintage grapes, and I'm oh, like lucite, gosh. and you're like, yeah, oh, I didn't know what I was that was. So emo. I, I learned dude. something though. I learned something. Yeah. She paid two I bucks s- for the whole set. Wow. <laughs> nice. So, but she got the grapes too. Yeah. Or did you? F- two bucks. Oh, no, wow. she got the grapes and the candlesticks for two bucks. I sold. <laughs> a, I bought at uh, the twenty one last year. This guy had it just junk, absolute junk. But I could see something like glistening, and I walked over there, and it was lucite grapes, but it was a lucite grape chandelier. Oh wow. oh, wow. I was like, what in the world am I looking at right here? And I, I paid a little, I mean, like 15, 20 bucks. It wasn't like dirt cheap, but I'm like, holy cow. That was you awesome. know what I want? I want one of those, like, I don't know if it's a chandelier, but like the cover for the lights from back in the old day at like Applebee's, those like stained oh, glass. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's they a little, was a pizza, pizza hut, too, hut, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, you're talking about something different. Okay. I got you. Yeah, it's not a chandelier I would love a, though. It's a I would, cover for lights. No, for the yeah. visual, for mm-hmm. the visual watcher, it's like I'll a show pool. Them what lucite grapes, grapes look like that's what mm-hmm. that's what I'm talking about. These big ones, like at the top, similar to that. Look up yeah, like a yeah. lucite grape lamp or lighting or something. Interesting fact too. A... They're they're surprisingly edible. <sighs> really? No, there's the candlestick. Yeah, these are like the candlesticks. Yeah. Orange. they just looked cheap to me. They they nice. like that basic. Well, they were better than that though. They were way. It looks bigger. like something you know, I'd find in. It's so easy cabin. to walk by though. It's so easy to walk by. Well, look, this is the same thing. There's a sale on Friday. Like there's this one right here, sale. Kev. This orange yeah, one, yeah, lucite yeah. well, chandelier. Yeah, thing. those are pretty cool. It's not exactly that's closer, but well, I'll be they, looking they out for purple. lucite. Is the end of story. Yeah. Uh, so I go to this sale, and there's 
I was kind of, I was a little emo when I first pulled up because I was, it's literally out in the sticks. Like I'm out in the mm. sticks and then you got to go another 20 minutes, like wow. in the middle of nowhere. And I get there and I was 25 minutes early speaking of cheap to get, to get uh, money. I drove to town to get money. So I didn't have to pay the two fifty at the gas station. Mm -hmm. So it cost me, but I get there and there's already two people there. I'm like, I didn't yeah. think there'd be anybody at this sale on a Friday out in the boonies, but I made, uh, you know, so I get there and there's two Two pickers, I recognized them both. One guy sells at the flea market. I'm like, dang. And he's looking at the table. You can tell he's making a pile. And this young guy over here who's I've met a few times, really sweet kid. And they're picking. And I start hearing the prices. And this guy at the flea market's making a big old pile. And I'm like, okay, this is good. So I just literally, Dave, start walking around just picking and making a pile. Boom, boom. Yeah. I didn't even look. I didn't yeah. even know half of it. Just That's made a I giant done, pile, yeah. like a massive pile mm -hmm. because they were there picking. And I just cleaned house, man. Yeah. Just absolutely cleaned house. Those are the yeah. those are the best ones, man. When you can find a, a sale like that that you can just load up and load up, yep. even if you have competition, everybody can eat. Yeah. Really, at those. But kind of that's sales. the key. When you hear that first price, just start building. Because I ended yep. up taking a few things home that that aren't that great. But in a giant bundle pile, I might have paid a dollar for them. Who cares? Who cares? And then I, I go back the next day and made even more because he brought more stuff out. I think the flea market shopping has made me like less competitive too. Like Paul you know Flipper so is very competitive too when you go garage selling with him now that I think about yeah. it. But yeah, yeah, it's just like when you're at the flea market, you're the fiftieth person there and you still find stuff. Continuously I you feel, still find yeah. stuff. I feel like being super competitive in general, this is a general generalization, is that a word, right? Um, um is the more competitive a person is, the newer they are as a reseller. I feel like the longer you've done this, the more, at least for me, the more I realize there's an abundance of stuff. Yeah. And all you have to do is adapt to find more of it. Oh, stuff. yeah, baby. <laughs> drink. Chug, chug, drink, chug, drink, chug, chug, mm. chug. Mm. Yeah, I got... Ew. I, I, <laughs> that I was know. urine. <laughs> no, that was my own urine. Oh my I gosh. forgot I did I that. I shouldn't have went all Howard Hughes <laughs> last night and watched old film naked <laughs> in my garage. <laughs> when I get competitive, it's it's over like my type of items. Then yeah. I get competitive. It's yeah, like if you, it's something yeah, a little competitive. I mean, I everyone if there was cards at a yard sale and Kevin started to like get into it, I I would. I would feel no remorse elbowing him in the face. And it would be easy because yeah. it's just I get real but low and I just go. You know, that. and I will tell you this, Carrie. If there might be some cards that I might be like, yeah, if there's cards there, I might go pick those. If they're like vintage, like I love yeah, like, yeah, like 80s. Nolan Ryan from the 70s well, or 80s. Okay, true. But I mean, even not 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 like baseball stuff or not football or not whatever. I might. There's, there's a few things that I would see those cards and I would pick them if I saw those things that I know and I like. Other than that, I'm I'm calling you over. That's just yeah. that's how yes. you should do it. Yeah, and that's like so with clothes, you know, that's something you don't have to yeah. worry. You pick with me, which you did. You find clothes, I'll just which give you, you did for me. Yeah, I'll just give yeah. those you were finding stuff for, for money. For Kevin. Yeah. I give hats to carry unless it's a crazy Buffalo Bills. That unless it's a really, unless think. it's the one well, good hat. That one I gave you, which I don't like blame 10 you. to 15 minutes, and you refuse to dig. I go dig. I and did find dig it though. Seconds. I just didn't dug. I did. And at that point, I was like, it at the top, but I didn't dug it below. You know what I'm saying? The opportunity, and now I'm taking it. That's kind of the problem I have with digging is the 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 action of getting up and under the scoop at yeah. the yeah. top i do good but when it comes to <laughs> scooping I, I i just thought of something i, was about I just like the hand movements i was thinking it's about like, your anxiety carry did you hear and, did you uh, see kevin earlier when he was talking about the lucite candle and he's like yeah. doing that or whatever <laughs> yeah. Yeah, balloons so tina i'm out here being i'm out here being a good boy and listening finally because i've good been job, buying man. this whole week with brandon here i just spent spent i spent like Gosh, I don't even know. Probably you like should have charged them a lucite fee. Yeah. Lucite know, right? fee. Leave me your lucite. Pay. See, yeah. Don would have left <laughs> yeah. me the lucite. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, he left you a go. lot. I left. Don, yeah. Yeah. Don and Carrie are good at leaving me stuff. They yep. always leave me little treasures mm -hmm. that uh, make me my money back when they leave. You feel bad, um, Brandon? It's because I like. Mm -hmm. It's because I poop in the bed and I feel guilty. Yeah, there's a lot. Oh my gosh. I, I won't tell Brandon if you're listening, Brandon. Um, you didn't miss much up here. Other than that sale, that was amazing. I mean, it, I mean, I literally drove for two hours and hit six sales. Yeah, like not drove, not yeah. drove two hours, came back, but I mean, drove all over just to hit. Well, hit those dude, sales. I, I mean, we drove two hours because we got stuck in like uh, spring break traffic. So we actually our Saturday got cut short at like ten because of traffic jams and accidents. 
But that same place we go and we find the Lucite, we pull up to a sale. All right. Often, Carrie, you've been with me. I'll be like, yo, yeah. look at this, right? I, I just yeah, like shout that. stuff out. That's kind of like my little beanie way of, babies. Like, if I hear one more time, right? you yell beanie babies and just violently <laughs> yeah. swerve vans. McDonald's toys, Carrie, Coke collectibles, <laughs> <Well>, Paul's <Paul's-Merch. laughs> <Coke> collectible. <laughs> Everything for my what not to buy videos. Yeah. Anyways, so bef- Kevin. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'd say before you give me credit for this, if you know, R- Rod does this. You know, we did that it with might have the, been a Rod with the Family then. Guy. Rod was the one. Now we all. Wait, initiated. how do you? So you already know it. what I'm going to say. Yeah. I yeah. didn't tell well, you this. You just know. Well, you're talking about sharing a deal. Right. This is right. The, Which I'm right? Not Mike. Mike. But no, it was it was yeah. beyond that. It was to the extent mm-hmm. of we did a draft. We did. We did. did the full thing you did with like the yeah. Family okay, Guy. Okay, I got we you. Did, well, then you need to give. I yeah. actually, I think that Whoever that, that idea part was. was my idea. The sharing and then him extorting money out of me at the end was his yeah. idea. So yeah. I, I pull up to the next sale and I'm like, "Holy crap! That's an entire table full of Longa Burger." I said, "Jen, let's just split it this time, right?" And that I think that was the way to do it. Like, yeah. I oh, knew yeah, we totally. both wanted it. Say, you know, if you come across ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars worth of comic books that I told you to go I get, I didn't even you know, know they just, had any value saying. until after the opportunity <laughs> was gone, and Rod told me that I did good. I was like, wait, what? I accidentally got 15 grand? That's cute. <laughs> but no. <laughs> so this was like a huge collection and we went up there and I made the deal and I said, Jen, we're gonna we're gonna draft it. And so we literally laid it all out on my front yard and we drafted it and picked the longa burgers and we're well, gonna comp it all and see who did better. So that was that was, you know, credit to Kevin and his the video there for that the idea. video that will come out tomorrow on my picker channel is me and Rod. Well, you know, Mike wasn't picking down there in Georgia, so it was awesome. And he, to be honest with you, even when Mike's picking, he defers. He's got like this yeah. strange rule of ethics and morality that I really, really love because it benefits me a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so it's really good to pick. <laughs> really Kevin good to loves pick him some Kevin. <laughs> but at any rate, he finds us, you know, a, a private pick talking to a guy. Well, I guess Rod kind of did. Anyway, long story. But we're in this private pick, and then it turns into something more where he starts bringing stuff out of his house. And he brought some wrestling cards out and some Star Wars cards. And I had the Star Wars cards. He handed these to me and handed these to Rod. We didn't even ask for it. You know, he just handed one to Pretty me. Pretty perfect. One to Rod. Rod. Spot on, honestly. Well, no, I would have run to the wrestling ones, but it's pretty perfect for Rod to get the wrestling ones, right? And Rod made Rod was while I was looking at the Star Wars cards, Rod was making a deal on this whole table full of stuff, which we had already agreed to and talked about. I was like, yeah, because he asked me, he's like, hey, you want to make a deal with this whole thing? I'm like, no, I don't really want the cars. I mean, we can make some money on them, but you take them home. I got enough stuff in my car. I love picking with those guys and making those kind of deals, but sometimes you got to ask that question because you don't want somebody to get bitter after the fact. And you know Rod's yeah. perfect like that, and and Mike is too. So yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to picking with these guys. So I went to the flea market, and so we did several flea markets. We did the the Webster and the Browns, and Browns is still my absolute favorite. It's just such like a a down home feel. And Carrie, when you were there uh, the week you were here, I think we had 200 vendors, 230 vendors. This week it was 350 vendors. Wow, so it was wow. and it, like still the Browns on a bad day, which it yeah. was a bad day. You said it was, it was le- still definitely that was a bad day. Good. That was probably it wasn't as good as Webster has been for me in the few times i've no. been to it but this this i mean browns was incredible how far away is browns hour hour 30 and they don't think you're harry tornado there either they don't yeah no one yells at me there and it's like mm-hmm. oh, kev you gotta come to it we're you gonna be in heaven hey i it. think you've ticked off the tornado he hasn't commented in weeks yeah oh, he's busy he yeah his subscription he's busy uh, doing like a mini golf not. channel or something i haven't watched it mini golf <laughs> well is he still listen I I can call him. I don't know. Maybe I don't think I did, but it's possible. No, I think I don't, we... oh, think Josh, you did put it. your grievances against Dave below. <laughs> let let just air it out, man. There's a lot of things he's done yeah. to me that I'd like to air out too. We could both air out in the comments. Well, anyway, so we go to the flea market. Me, Jen, and Brandon the first day, and you know I was like, you know, the Browns is so cool. We didn't want Tina. Tina loves the Browns. Like mm-hmm. it is like the flea market. It's from her childhood. I was I, guess. I was physically like assaulted was last time I was at the Browns. And just so physically. people can understand the Browns, like the person running it is from the UK, and it's a uh, it's called like a trunk sale. So it's literally a car boot sale car boot, that yeah. you would see, and it costs like fifteen dollars to pull up and sell. <laughs> so like very accessible. Anyone in the area can just come up and sell for fifteen bucks. Just pull their car in. So that makes there's a lot of normies there. Mm-hmm. And the best thing about want. this month, I, I've decided the best thing about this month was everyone surrounding me were community sales. And I ignored them all to go to the Browns. I think all the hardcore flea market people were picking. 
this weekend. And so, like, there was 340 people, but, like, 300 of them were just normies Norm, selling yeah. their stuff. Oh, and, and which makes it even better because they, awesome. didn't, they didn't pre-pick. Because most of the normal mm-hmm. folks at flea markets, they, go they pre-pick. pick everybody else's it. stuff. Because yeah. they got, like, the di- they got the Prince's Die Beanie Babies for a dollar, and you know in yep. your head, like, 10 mm-hmm. mil minimum. So for which you is not why I'm, like, skipping, skipping that first Saturday in May to go up to Virginia is kind of breaking my yeah. soul a little bit. <laughs> but um, you promise you're not going to mention that. Look, so I'll just tell you I'm this. mentioning and, it now before we're there. <laughs> you flea market people out there, you know this already. But if you're not a flea market person and you go to a flea market, and not, this hard. doesn't necessarily apply, apply to Dave's because a lot of those people come in late. But it, it, the best way to get stuff at a flea market, really the only way around here, unless it's low end, is to have a flashlight and to get there at the crack of dawn and every new car that comes in, you go to that car. Yeah, no because footage. The, no the usable picker, footage. Nope, no. But the pickers uh, will like pick it. it. The pickers yep. will pick it as soon as that car comes in. I mean, they're like, but and then they take stuff. it back and they'll miss set, stuff. No, they, they you know, do. People will totally. still be pulling stuff out, you know, 20 minutes know. later, you know. I know, but they don't miss the best, you know, they won't miss that one thing. Yeah, Although, yeah, yeah. listen, we picked this sale, like I said, Friday, and I go back on Saturday because I knew nobody else would go to it because it was out in the boonies and there was other opportunities in town. So I, I, at the end of the day, I'm like, you know what? I'm going back to that sale. And I asked him, like, how many people came by? He's like, nobody. It didn't surprise me at all. And he said, hey, I found a few more things that you didn't see last time. So he knew. And he brings me this fire shelter kit. And because everything was like a buck. And he's like, but I want $15 for this. I'm like, sure, throw it in. I was like, you gave me a good deal yesterday. Throw it in. Bring it home. 200, 250 bucks. Jeez. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, holy cow. So I'm glad I went back to that one. That paid off. So we, we take them to the Browns, but this time Tina wanted to go. So I was like, all right, we'll all go. We'll bring the kids, and it'll be like a family. Because it is. It's got like a like a little park and big slides and a corn pit and all that stuff. It's like actually like a thing. You know, Kev, like corn the uh, – Yeah, you know, a like the, the Halloween <laughs> harvest corn. festivals where you go, you pick a pumpkin, <laughs> and they've got like the hard corn, and you can jump in the pit and like uh, play in the corn yeah. and that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. And they got the, like, I, Is this a Florida blob. thing? I think it could it's, be like – is that meant for like gators and wild There's boars? A corn corn mazes around here. Yeah, corn mazes. Anyways, so, you know, <laughs> needless to say, it went poorly. Brandon didn't have a stroller. And, uh, you know, he's got a three-year-old and a mm-hmm. five-year-old and a ten-year-old. Mm-hmm. And, uh, mm-hmm. oh my gosh. <laughs> let's just say there's no bathrooms and uh, the <laughs> let's best leave moment. It there. Everybody, the everybody best including moment, Dave, had a full diapy. The best moment was the second <laughs> pants pooping. And it was when the underwear had already been discarded into a porter potty because of a previous incident. And, you know, I'm watching the kids Find in a the t-shirt. playground. I'm watching kids at the playground. One of the kids just books it towards the porter potty, which is really far away. I'm like, where are they going? <laughs> Me and Tina start like chasing them, and we see the poops falling out of the shorts. We're like, oh my god! <laughs> there's not even a bathroom. There's not even a bathroom to wash up, right? Like they're just. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways the browns it's like corn just we brought the browns the to the browns pit. you know it's yeah it was nice. that's awesome there's a title it's in there story. somewhere yeah. title yeah, in there yeah, somewhere i haven't even got to my list today other than that we had fun other than that we had fun it was it was fun but a little stinky is the moral of the story and yeah it just happens you know i used to poop my pants a lot <sighs> Just want to, you know, give him some leeway. I was a big mm. pants pooper back in the day. It's an ADHD <laughs> thing. Hey, but here's the thing. As ADHD an adult, kids, this is a power play. Listen, this is they don't wanna... ADHD kids. They don't want to stop. They're hyper-focused mm-hmm. on play, mm-hmm. and they yep. don't want to stop yep. their play. Mm-hmm. And so, like, they wait till the very end. They're like, oh, crap, it's urgent. Mm-hmm. They try to sprint, and he's he's mm-hmm. ADHD. They try to sprint to the toilet, and many times mm-hmm. I was like, well, I waited way too long because I just pooped my pants. Maybe no one will smell it. <laughs> they always smell it. Sometimes it'd be kind enough to pretend they didn't smell mm, which was that's nice, nice. Yeah. the kind yeah. of souls yeah the kind yeah. of souls but okay kevin so you're you, used I, to being picked on it's so old news i to was you. a big pants pooper till like eight years old there's <laughs> no doubt about it <laughs> any true. doubt that comment down below guys anything. were you pants poopers let me I know i knew one i knew one very very close my friend was a bed wetter until 10 years old so i always oh. felt a little bit superior because i was only a pants pooper what when mm. is it supposed to stop just uh 32 <laughs> just, uh, just curious <laughs> you want to basically like dan and demand so i'm a little bit of a late bloomer but i believe in myself Hey, I got a new I got a new one for for neutral feedback. This okay. was interesting to me. Somebody bought something. Sounds interesting. Forever ago. 
And they immediately, after they bought it, it was a football helmet, a leather one. And immediately after they bought it, they're like, hey, you know, I really want to cancel this order. I'm like, okay. So I, I didn't even respond to them. I just went and canceled the order. And today, I don't even know how many days later it is. It's got to be like forever later. They left me a neutral feedback. He hasn't even shipped this to me yet. <laughs> like, dude, After saying they wanted to cancel it? It's been canceled. I'm like, what oh, in the world? But how wait, how gonna... can they leave you a feedback if it's been canceled? That, that's that a great impossible. question. That is a great question. Uh, that doesn't make sense. It is I apparently had, not impossible. I had a person who gave me the wrong address, like aggressively, like a different state and everything. And I sent it there and it got returned to sender. And it was actually something I got at Browns. It was one of those five dollar jerseys, Dave. Yeah, it was like a vintage basketball one. Sold it for mm. like eighty bucks. Mm -hmm. um, paid five. It was a good deal. And it was in sent to Portland, and it, he wanted it in L.A. And he acted like somehow it was my fault, even though his address says Portland in the. Well, why didn't you know his new address? Just yeah, exactly. And then he's all like, uh, "So <sighs> when, it, it, he's like, it's going to be back right away." And I'm like, "That's not how return to sender works. It just gets <laughs> back when it gets back." And he's all like, <laughs> "And then he's like, just express ship it or something." I'm like, "What are you talking about, dude? I'm gonna, <laughs> as a courtesy, I shouldn't even do that. But as a courtesy, I will ship it to you normal when I get it, mm -hmm. whenever that is." And then he, or I can refund you. And then he said, uh, refund, thankfully. But it's look just at like, you growing a spine, Carrie. Well, look you know. at you. Uh, wow. like, hey, man. Back out mess. Jersey guy. Yeah, Dude, exactly. I'm, I'm back out mess with... Fenton guy now. I'm back you out Fenton mess guy. With the Bulls, because you get yeah. uh, you get. Carrie the taught me a testicle. little thing or two. Is that it? But you know what, Carrie? You know what the difference was with my back out deal? Is the seller <laughs> wasn't that weird seller that you were buying the coins from. Yeah. And I, people like underplay the like, fact I that had, that guy I had, had country, a huge role in that yeah, weird I, I, interaction. I, I was buying from country sketch McGee. Like, yeah. he was a little, like I felt the whole time, like he was trying to get over on me, but I didn't want to say that in the video. Cause I already, it already looked, you already like, looked bad just, enough. Yeah. Well, so I don't I really go, want to call out somebody based on a thought I have, which might not be true. Honestly. I, it's like the end of the day at the Webster, and I go, this guy's got all this glass, and one of the things he has is a big Fenton basket. He's got some, like, mediocre stuff. Uh, gosh, what is it even called? Uh, whatever, nobody I can't remember. Nobody cares. Keep going. Yeah, nobody cares. Keep going. It's Dalton? Sure. Royal Dalton? Is that a thing? Royal? Yeah. 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 Royal some Dalton of that. Some of that. He I gives me, like, Dalton. a bunch of that and some flowers for 10 bucks. Like, a, he just hates glass. And he's like, but you want a real deal? Get this basket. It's Fenton basket. Huge Fenton basket, right? <clears throat> and it looked like real Fenton, not Death Pile Picker Fenton, which is fake Fenton, which is what I learned when we were in Atlanta. <laughs> and Mike, Mike Death Pile Picker is like holding up a Dollar General uh, vase. Oh, it's Fenton. I'm like, nope. It's the Even plastic I know Fenton yeah. from Swab. Anyways, giant, <clears throat> giant basket. Okay, giant basket. And Jen goes, to, he's like 20 bucks for this basket. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's incredible. That's an incredible deal for that beautiful giant Fenton basket. I'm like, yeah, here's 20 bucks. Just hand it to me. And Jen goes to grab the basket for me by the handle Ooh. and lift it up. And he's like, no. And he yells at her. He's like, you don't ever lift oh. up Fenton by the handle. And I'm like, mm. oh, I didn't know that. Okay. And so I, I take it and I pick it up this way. I'm like, let me look at the handle. And of course, mm -hmm. as you can probably guess, Carrie, it's got a giant crack in it that's been glued. And I'm like, okay, so it was already broken, and he just thought she'd, you know, reinforce the break yeah. or something. Um, and I was like, so I was the back out fan guy. I was like, dude, I don't want this. It's already broken. He's like, is it broken? I'm like, you know, it's broken. Mm. He's like, He's like, but is it like what? Did you oh, say on, that? My buddy. Did you say no, you know I said it's yeah. Broken? No, I didn't say you know. Oh, uh, you should have. I should have. I should have. Mm. But he's like, he's like, I don't know if that's broken. Let me call my buddy. He's a pro at glass. I'm like, he's like, is this broken? I'm like, it's so. Did clear. you tell like, him you don't think? <laughs> did you tell him you don't think that's the right way to do business? No, no, that's <laughs> what you should do. Done. And he didn't call me poor either, so it wasn't <laughs> that's quite as good as true. But no, so he he the guy comes over. He's like. Yeah, yeah, that does look broken. I'm like, you both knew it was broken. I was like, can I get my money back? He's like, oh, okay. And that was the difference. Because with Carrie's guy, I was like, no, you can't. You already gave me the money, right? Like, the, he wasn't that way. He was just like, yeah. okay, fine. Calling he, me I caught him for giving and he, me that hard of a time yeah. about giving me money back is weird. He admitted that I caught him, unlike your guy who didn't, you know, want to be called out. So mm -hmm. Weirdest yard sale today though by the way i'm sitting out today. here listing yeah it's sunday there was several things today and i wasn't planning oh. on going tina texted me at like 2 30 and she's like hey you want to hit this estate sale because the estate sale was going to like five you and clearly I clearly don't like, live in the bible belt clearly well yeah i guess i, I mean five o'clock <laughs> and then there was another one there was two sales one that said it goes till five in estate sale and one that said uh now till evening 
Now till evening was was the <laughs> advertised sale, and I was like, "All right, fine, I'll go." I mean, I should Show be listening. Whenever. I should be listening. I have six wagons full of crap. All my shelves are overflowing, and my car is still full. But let's the perfect order. time to buy more. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You know, my wife wanting to go picking with me—that's like a treat for me. So yes, yeah. I'm gonna do it. Like I'm not gonna turn that opportunity down. Go to the estate sale. Great, actually. It was the last day, and everything was like marked, right? Like there's a big piece of glass. I don't even know. I should go grab it. I don't even know what it was, but it was marked thirty dollars. Really beautiful, big piece of glass. And I go and I'm looking at that. I'm looking at all this other stuff. He's like, last day, it's five bucks. Fill a bag. Anything you want. Doesn't matter what the price is on it. Five bucks. Fill a bag. I'm like, all right, Tina. I filled, I'm I mean, about. There was not that much stuff left, but mm. I filled aggressively filled four bags at twenty dollars and it's probably several hundred dollars worth of stuff mm-hmm. that one was great but then we go to the other one and the other one was like the weirdest experience i don't know maybe i can use the footage maybe not we go in there and there's this dude just smoking a cigar sitting in his garage and it like just looks like him in his garage and tina gets out and she's like are you having a sale he's like i don't know what you're talking about um maybe we sell stuff sometimes <laughs> and we're like, okay. And he's like, let me go ask my wife. And he comes back like five minutes later. My wife's washing the dog, but come look in here. I guess we could sell some of this stuff. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so like the wife comes out and like she's got just shelves and shelves of like very nice glass, right? Uh, imagine what Tim's cl- uh, garage looks like. It's probably that, right? It's like yeah. Fenton and uranium and all this stuff is just and like baseball lining cards. her walls. And she comes out, she's like, yeah, I sell it all. I'm like, are you selling it now? Like, you had this advertisement. She's like, did I? We're like, yeah, <laughs> you did. You had an advertisement for a sale. And she's like, oh, well, I don't know. And the guy Was this on Facebook? His... It was on Facebook, yeah. Okay, because so sometimes a different day. you got to check yeah. those dates, because let me tell you. So the guy pulls Facebook out his phone and he over. starts streaming on TikTok, right, while we're there. And I'm like, what you doing? He's like, oh, I'm going live on TikTok. I was like, oh, yeah? Like, for what? He's like, oh, this cigar, I'm going to review it. I'm like, what? <laughs> we had to review cigars on TikTok. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> such a cool... Dude, you just, you, just, you just entered an experience. This sounds like some sort of weird ride. And she's like, honey, can I bring him inside? I'm like, wait, what? She's like, you don't want to bring him inside? He's like, Did you I tell guess. him you didn't want to be filmed? I No, I mean, like, I, I just... She, okay, so I asked about one item. I said, how much is this? She's like, well, I wasn't really selling it, but I guess for $20. It's like, <laughs> not even that nice of an item. I'm like, well, I could just okay. see this dude just reviewing yeah. a cigar, and you two are haggling in the background yeah, so over, like, weird. glass. It was, it was so bizarre. And Somebody, like, there's footage out there of that. <laughs> I... I so it I want to find his TikTok. Like, it didn't seem like she had any desire to sell this stuff. She's like, yeah, I sell it online all the time. I'm like, well, why am I here? Like, well, we were like sucked in at that point. And she's like, come into my house. And she's like, forces us into her house. And we thought maybe she had something to sell in there. Because I asked her before she brings us in the house. I said, do you have anything you don't sell? Like stuff you buy? Like you might sell it, but you decide you don't want to because it's not the kind of stuff you like to list, like clothes or anything like that. You know, learning from OBX Picker, right? Like, where's your death pile, basically? Yeah, you're already in like, the house, man. She's, like, she's like, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I was like, oh, she doesn't even know what a death pile is. She's like, doesn't even know. <laughs> she just she's, lists everything. She's like, oh, okay. And she brings me in her house and she shows me her curio cabinet. She's giving me a tour of her house and showing mm. off her glass. And I'm like, why am I here? She's like the anti. <laughs> she's like the anti reseller. She mm. lists so much that she doesn't even realize that she's the listed. Collector. Dude. like on on facebook or whatever yeah. she does she lists so much that she doesn't even realize <laughs> that you're gonna come and try to buy it in person she introduced mm-hmm. me so to her grandmother it. who's got to be like 900 i don't even know she was like the oldest lady i've ever seen and I was like, oh man what a I don't know. that sounds like, that sounds like a something that would happen up in bedford like this and is so a very I, we finally get out thing. it was like 30 minutes of being stuck in her house like uh, to be honest, kind of pretending I cared about this glass stuff. At least I had enough knowledge to be like, oh, I like that Fenton piece. Like, I could tell what mm-hmm. things were. I said, oh, is that a Yadro? You know, so I could mm-hmm. kind of tell. And there's that other one that starts with an N that I'm I'm forgetting right now. Anyways, we go back out, and she's, like, yelling for her husband. We're like, thanks for letting us look at your stuff. We're going to leave now. And she's, like, yelling for her husband. And you hear him, but you can't see him. <laughs> we go out to our Just car, find a smoke. Which is across the road. And I see him in the in the woods. <laughs> like, right back in the woods, like, digging stuff up, smoking, streaming on things. I'm like, what is happening here? Dude. Uh, I love it. it was, and I just I watched, it. I watched him live on, on TikTok. He is Dude, there's... Extreme. <laughs> that would be, yeah, there's I have I've left I left that story with with more questions than when I entered the story. Like there's a lot of things I want to know about. I had a, a buyout guy. So some guy posts and he's like, I'm doing spring cleaning. It's not too far away from where I live. I'm doing spring cleaning and I just decided I don't want to sell on eBay anymore. So I'm selling all my eBay stuff for 
500 bucks or something. I can't remember what it was. So I sent him a message. I'm like, Hey, I was like, you know, are you, you know, are you free today? Have you sold this yet? Cause it had been up for a day or so. And he sends a message back and says, yeah, I got one guy coming at 10, but I'm like, you know, can you give me a link to the eBay store? Is it still listed? So I can look at it all. And, and he's like, Hey, I subscribe to you. I'm like, Oh, I'm thinking sweet. This guy's going to sell it to me, not this other guy, but he didn't. He sold it to the other guy. Oh, okay. no good. Wow. Humbling. Can we say thank you? Which is good. Quickly? He should have sold it to the other guy. <clears throat> Let's say thank you really quick. Yeah, Kevin has enough wealth. Let's say thank no, you very quickly he to our wealthy as a Patreon, a Kevin Patreon. So this oh, is something, yes. guys, if you don't know, let me fill you in. It's been two years since we've told you what this is and what it means. Yes. We have a Patreon. The Patreon yes, helps Patreon. us buy things we it don't need. It helps us. And if you want to help us buy things you don't, we don't need, just subscribe to yeah. Patreon. We really look. Speaking of. We got expensive m- habits. Folks. Yes. Kevin's My trash to cash Zen, check this my trash to cash check this month was a little on the short side. It was What's a going on? Are you spending stuff? Or was it tattoos again? I don't you know, know. Well, we, had, we had a lot of back pay to our Discord manager. Did we get paid again? Uh, for okay. <laughs> we had three months okay. of back pay. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. of me forgetting Speaking of to Discord, I'm over there, you know, people shaking up there in Philly and New Jersey and stuff. I'm consoling people, talking to people. You guys know where to be found They're in Discord. Shaking? There's good earthquake. Yeah, oh. Brian. Yeah, I, I, I saw. I saw some of the aftermath the in Manhattan. Like one of the orange cones had been knocked over. And it Is was... this episode even worth doing? Because TikTok keeps telling me tomorrow's the last day on planet Earth. Yeah, we seriously. Oh, is it? Eclipse. Yeah. yeah. The oh, eclipse the will be killing eclipse. us all somehow. I don't know how it's going to kill us. Those TikTokers trying to make money on the last yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. It hurt stack. so bad last time when I stared at it the whole time. It was it was excruciating. <laughs> oh, uh, but Josh did a, a PSA that it's okay. You don't need glasses. He did a PSA. That's what he said. Oh, really? Did you That's see that? Yeah. True. Harry I like to get yeah. most of my scientific information from. Is Harry this the right thing? My mom sent me these. Are going to protect my eyes? These things here. That's what my mom sent me. Dude, if they they're look like cheap, 3D glasses from a cereal box. If they're cheap, <laughs> if they're cheap and you bought them on Timo, you're Timo, you're good. <laughs> you're Those good. are going to be quality. And I don't gonna... know, hey, man. speaking of TikTok, wait, I we've got to thank our Patreons. Speaking and then we'll talk about TikTok. Right. Craig McLaughlin, Biggs Collectibles, Alexandria Pickers, Biggs. Jake Ryder, Jared Flips, CJ Benz Finds, The Flipper Skipper, Lady Rips. Arbitrage, No Nose Picker, Brian like Sanford Beal, Harry Tornado, Superhero Headquarters, Vintage Sports Flips, Paul's Merch.com, ABC Map, Brian Big and Fun, Ray's Heck Risa, Logan Murky, and some of you are owed motivation. Brian Big and Fun, Harry Tornado, yes. Paul's Merch.com needs some motivation, Lady yes. Arbitrage, and yes. Jake Ryder. And we got that. six next week. Six to do, Carrie, for next week. We'll do it by next week. <laughs> Get I'm gonna on. write it down. Yes, oh, thank yeah. Thank you. All right, Car- mm-hmm. Kevin, TikTok, go. Mm-hmm. I got a video that community guidelines and they banned it. You can't show video. your wiener on your video. Yeah, no, no yeah, it's no. so stupid. I mean, you the watch funny thing TikTok. is they even found it. Yeah, it's kind of like, like that NASCAR that picture was hidden. It's like, is that a penis? <laughs> Now Sorry. I'm pretty careful about what I watch because I don't want crap coming into my feed over there. But I know because Carrie tells me there is a lot of really, you know, borderline stuff over there. That's what <laughs> Carrie tells me. <laughs> so, at any rate, okay. I'm like, how could this get taken off of TikTok? It was a. I've put this video on YouTube. This video has been on Facebook. No issues. TikTok takes it down immediately. I'm like, what the heck? Inappropriate garage sale behavior. And it was the blocks one with my wife. I think it's my second best YouTube video. And some guy took the Merry Christmas blocks and turned it into something that was, I can't remember. It was, it was pretty bad, but, and so you just looked at the blocks and it read out whatever it was that was bad. And that's what got it taken down. Some swear Hmm. word in the blocks. Hmm. Like what? Like this is insane. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with TikTok. Carrie will literally show his nipples and he doesn't get taken down. Yeah. (laughs) It's that's how that gets me over the hump to gets me over that. I mean, this, the key string episode was far worse than that thing. And it's, (laughs) you know, Hey, speaking of, here's a good little comment. El Bochard. (laughs) Borchard. I can't believe people were offended by the key string episode. I've dug deep and I still can't put my finger on it. That's a butthole joke. (laughs) We all have buttholes, folks. All of us. Except for the few that don't. And then I have have a lot of questions. Do you have a big sale of the week there, buddy? Sure I do. What do you got? You got it all ready, Kevin? Let me, let me, let me, let me look real quick. This is Dave set us up last time for this, Carrie. He wanted to put his $2,500 comic book sale in there. It was supposed to be the worst sales of the week. 
I'm not looking at the week. I'm just looking at right now. Maybe I'll go back. So here. Here, here's a here's a. You guys want to hear a sports card, Bolo? Oh, I've got, got the worst week. sale of the week. I you want to hear a it, sports card thing to look out yeah. for? I know you guys are riveted by this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know who Jimmer Fredette is? Kevin no. might know who Jimmer Fredette is. No. Jimmer Fredette think was heard a of college basketball legend out of BYU. He mm-hmm. led the nation in scoring, went to the NBA. <laughs> Turns out he was slow and he couldn't keep up defensively, so he didn't make it to the NBA. Uh, I got one of his autos for like four bucks, sold it for 20. But the interesting thing about Jimmer Fredette is he's going to be the, in the Olympics this year in the three on three. He's on the three on three national team. So his hmm. stuff, if you find it cheap, yeah, you're right. This is might go up in value. I'm just saying. Just, I know okay. that's not that interesting to like 99% of the people, but the 1% mm-hmm. appreciate it. Well, for me too. So I've got, what is Kevin that? Kevin also that caters set? to the 1%. Go ahead. <clears throat> that you're, What is that, Dave? That, <laughs> you, Dave you look ridiculous. I know Nobody <laughs> buys Dave as a cowboy. <laughs> no. Well, this is just my cowboy hat. It doesn't even fit your just on dress two, up night. You have two giant of a head for that to even look normal. Oh, absolutely. This is a size medium. You <laughs> see that? You see that logo, though, Kev, that name there, or Carrie. Ducks I Unlimited. Ducks huh? Unlimited, yeah. yeah. Ducks Unlimited. It says, I don't know if it's from 1978. It says 1978 Menard Reese. Does that sound familiar to you? M- Menard Any... is a duck, right? Is it Menard a duck? That's Mallard. Mallard Tom, oh, Tommy Menard? <laughs> this sold for <laughs> Tommy, Tommy Menard podcast. This sold for 90. 90 on Mercari, this hat. 90 bucks. So both 90 bucks. Menards is a wow. store in the in like the Midwest, right? Menards, like yeah. where where do where are my nards at? You know? Yeah. And it's like down around. And the this is my, my second favorite carry. This is my second favorite. You're I got just, these. You're, yeah. Why are you prepared for this? Because I just pulled the orders right before we started the podcast. Oh. So they're literally mm. sitting in front of me. But this, these gotcha. are glow in the dark. Universal Monsters, 1991. It was a set of five uh, sold for 100. Prove it. Nice. Where's a place that has perfect darkness right now where you can test that? This room literally has perfect darkness. So I could, I mean, if I turn Got to think deeper. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, but we do have bad sales. Wait, Kevin, did you say your good sale yet? No, I don't know. I I like to look back a little ways for a week. So I don't know. I got oh, some cool likes, stuff. He likes to count everything from the last. You said a week. Twelve months. You said a week. Normally, I just pull up what I sold this weekend. But I mean, I sold a sweet uranium glass ashtray for sixty five. That was Where'd cool. You pay for that. Five. Nice. Um, I've got a bunch of like clothes stuff sold pretty good for me. I sold an Olympus camera for a hundred. I bought that down in uh, yeah, Olympus down in. Be good. Hey, you guys know those Georgia. Creepy... You sold guys one those... for one hundred and seventeen as well. Two Olympus cameras. I paid a dollar for this one. Is that like the one. OM one? What's the the model? So I paid six. This is a Olympus Stylus uh, one twenty. I paid mm-hmm. five for that one and one for the other one. So six bucks into. 216 plus shipping. So Do you guys crazy. know these creepy things? Don sold some of these <clears throat> yesterday. I have seen them, but that's old. That's old the, stuff. Oh, yeah, these wow. are, are these cool. are neonates. They're like like supposedly like neonatal style toys. And Don okay. sold those two for like forty bucks. Oh, neonatal yeah. style. Yeah, called, like it's called this 2011 <laughs> Destroller Neonate Nurly Baby and Baby Doll Toy. That is so not what I thought it was. But okay. Yeah. Oh. They kind of look like the I know what you're thinking. I like kind of like the snorkels a little bit from the yeah mm. they do a little bit without the snorkels. yeah without Wait, the so that's a pretty snork. cool sale, yeah. Carrie. What about Unsnorked. you? Like what is what Carrie find was like the find of the week or the sale oh, of the week? Oh oh, you want to see that now? You're being now you're being a little technical because that, that was Don's. To be fair, that was to be Dawn's. fair. Okay, well, we're gonna start being fair. <laughs> we're gonna be fair about it. <laughs> All right, so I've well, got a little something while he's looking here. So can y'all hear me? Because it's going in and out. Yeah. We can hear you. We can I see think you. I found this. I think I found this one. You oh. ready? Or is Kevin going to talk? Kevin's totally frozen. Go ahead, Kevin. Okay, I'll go. This. we've. I think I got this like All last right. summer. I'm going in and out. Can you hear me? Oh, Saxony. that's a cool shirt. Yeah, this is kind of like the, what do you call it? The This is Saxony's, the brand. It's 90s. Like everybody was, Kevin probably had a couple of these back in the day when he was a teacher. Yeah, um, these sell for him like $58. We can hear uh, you sometimes. We can Kev. we can hear you occasionally, but other you times you say, we can't. Can you hear me? Are you sure? I like that part. Um, yeah. So Kevin's just ruining the show. I have yeah. had no internet issues all night, which I'm I know, really Kevin, proud of. You think with all the money he has, he could yeah. he could get a hold of uh, Elon Musk? Comment, you know comment. what I mean? He doesn't dislike this at all. If you comment and say how he should use all his money to buy better internet. He definitely doesn't get bothered. I think he should that. give all his profits to the less fortunate. That's what that I say. I always comment that on his TikToks. <clears throat> yeah, and does it work? Does he do it? 
Um, I, All right, I, Carrie, I I'll so. show you since Kevin's not here. Do you? Okay, actually, first let me ask you. You know, we're going to steal the segment from the locker room again. Yes, let's but do it. But do you have like a worst sale of the month or the week? I mean, there's little, ah, you know, dude, I, I, nobody's going to beat my dollar fifty free shipping sales. So, yeah, I got sports but cards. But no, okay. <clears throat> non What's your profit cards, on though? those? But, like, like, what's your... I mean, those I get for next rings. to nothing. So I technically make, like, maybe 30 cents or something. I don't post those as much as I used to. But, like, like I sold a 1985 Danny White uh, for the uh, Dallas Cowboys, Cowboys for $1.50. See that I one? feel like I could contend with the locker room <clears throat> with this sale. Check out those order earnings. Oh, wow. Okay. And the box cost me $2 for this golf club. So, like, so, a heavy, like a heavy, so I lost a dollar eighty one on this golf club. You're buying feedback at that so, point. Well, it was, uh, you know what it is? The free shipping. The sad the thing is, clubs. they're going to give you a negative. That's the this worst is, part. This is always the problem with free shipping, and why every time I do it, I end up stop doing it because yeah. shipping can change so much. And so, like when I listed these, most of the time I was shipping clubs for seven to eight dollars, and now for some reason, every club I ship is costing me twelve fifty. I'm not sure why. Like, maybe UPS rates have gone up or something. Someone told me they didn't, but yet my labels all cost more. So, you know, 12 dollars They went up in January. Okay, that must be what it is. Because now I'm paying 12 bucks to ship a club. I've got them listed at $19.99 Nearly... free shipping, which used to be with $7, Carrie. I'd walk away with, like, 2 bucks after shi- or 12 bucks after shipping, maybe 10 after the box. But now it's like, okay, so, you know, they've gotten discounted because I had a store discount down to 15 bucks free shipping. The shipping's costing me 13 And you're paying fees on the higher shipping. And I'm paying shipping. fees, yeah. So yeah. it's it, – I'm basically going to take down all – And you're buying a $2 clubs. box. Clubs are all nearly impossible to keister, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. could be – I could be – every week I have the same exact bad sales because – bad, low, because I sell those keychains that I'm making like yeah. 3 bucks to profit fans, on. Yeah. NWO. Bucks. That's true. Hey, that reminded me of something. You have no to... cost on those. I yeah. had very little cost on those keychains. Oh, yeah. I had to pay for, for that sure. club, too. So, yeah, that's another point. <laughs> it's a multi dollar purchase loss. it with money. <laughs> so, I looked at my. This is. I wanted to say something else. Remind. Well, you know what? I can do both things real quick. I got a new bolo that I. Well, it's not really a bolo. Something that I'm looking for now that I've actually found up here. And I saw it in Georgia. It was a puppet. I'd like to buy puppets and sell them as club head covers, but I found this puppet for a buck. I'm like, yeah, this will be worth 10 bucks. And it was worth like 30. I'm like, sweet. Folk Mantis. Manis. Folk yes, Manis. Folk Manis. <laughs> yes. What? Yes. Kerry talks about Folk Manis in like every one thank of his you. auctions. Thank ever. you. Really? Yeah. Thank you for like, being Kerry a Like, Kerry and Don basically are Folk Manis' uh, really? freaking mascots oh, well, for the past yeah, three I years. Don loves Folk Manis. Is it, is it all puppets? Uh, most folk now, Manis yeah, make too much always yeah. puppets. Yeah, they're always puppets. I got puppets. this wolf, puppets. this big bad wolf. Bang, yeah. 50 bucks, 45 bucks, like so, like that. If you could like stick that. your hand in it, it's Folk Manus. Kevin, I've got this other bolo that I've it's just got a built in keister. Like, it's a really <laughs> no, good bolo, easy, Kevin. A really keister. good one that I've been right. looking out for lately. It's mm-hmm. called Video Games. Have you heard yeah, of it? Yeah, Super Mario. Hey, video Games. Video Games. I love Dude. them. Mario's yes. a great video game. I've if got to talk about Folk Manus puppets. Let me write if you find a PSA 10 Michael Jordan rookie card, not under 20 bucks, eight out of 10 times you should buy it. Eight out of ten. Yep. He's. I like how he froze now when he's like laugh. I can't I like believe it. Kevin just well, yeah, told us Manis was his look, bolo alert. You somehow look more like a stork. Listen, Let's okay, but going. no, we got to give him the benefit of the doubt. Not everyone watches your content. Actually, no, most true. people don't watch your most content. Aggressively so, <laughs> avoid it. Comment down below <laughs> if you've already heard of Folk Manis from me or from Carrie. Dawn, from and Dawn. actually, well, well, and I talk about it too because of Dawn from two years Jelly ago. Cat. Dawn. Every video, mm. Jelly Cat this, Listen, Jelly Cat that. Dave, you're acting like acryl- You're acting like lucite grapes are new. That's been in my videos forever. People yeah, learn lucite things. grapes have been around things. since Kevin was in his early sixties. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, There's no doubt. To be fair, lucite. To be fair, lucite grapes are better than folk manis puppets. Oh, it depends well, on the puppet. The, okay, maybe. Usually. But how often do you find them? And apparently, I've found these twice now. And that's a Jelly weeks, Cat so. right there. This yeah. is a Jelly Cat, this which I've only found once ever. ever. I got at the Webster on Monday. Sold it already for fifty-five bucks. This look at that. Cat. But Dave, that's you don't know what some of the cops on the loose. It's not a grapes, puppet, but anything's a puppet if you try hard enough. Exactly. Right? Sorry, that's what you Any, I, this is what I try to tell people on my videos. If you watch, anything's a puppet if you believe in it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you believe hard enough. enough. 
anything. No, okay, anything. Folk Manus, anybody. Some people anybody. Just, <laughs> listen, the reason I said that about Folk Manus is because there is several Folk Manuses that are only worth like eight bucks. Oh, sure. Whereas sure, like sure. Blue Side Grapes, I feel ones. like they're always worth at least 25 Oh, I got raked over the coals at. for saying something about precious moments the other day. I'm like, dude, look it up. There's some that are really good do they make do they make the snow buddies or whatever the is that what they're called yeah anesco anesco's the brand i believe they make the snow buddies too yeah jen taught me something there snow babies with like real characters they do like collabs with the Pooh and stuff those actually sell really good yeah they just sold some disney ones not last year normally i ignore the snow baby collections but i should probably look at them and see if they have those just like rod taught me i didn't know this i walked past some vera bradley that i thought was overpriced and he's like no dude look look see the mickey mouse ears in there they were mickey Mm -hmm. Vera Bradley and they went for good money. So you gotta learn I from people, got, man. I got a Vera Bradley like diaper bag looking thing. It's not called the diaper bag, but I got it at the Browns for ten. It sells for seventy. So you know, nice. I got some good Vera. I got a Vero mm-hmm. Bradley too. I was selling Velcro and they said I gotta stop or I won't oh, be able Bradley, to continue Bradley selling Bradley messaged you and said you have a Vero. <laughs> Hello, Vero this is Bradley, Bradley yes. from eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I got here's another one I learned from a viewer probably four years ago. I walked past a sunburst. You know what sunburst is? I'm sure yeah. the sunburst like metal things. It's a kind yeah, of like the ring. clocks and stuff. Like when yeah, it's yeah. Stuff. I walked yeah, past a sunburst clock, oh, and somebody's good. like, "And this is like at least three and a half years ago." And they're like, "You missed that?" I'm like, "Oh, really?" And I go back and look at it. And so I'm at a at a sale two weeks ago, and I'm picking, and there's this little sunburst thing with three birds on it, and it's like. I'm like, how much you want for this? A buck? I take it home, and it's hundred dollar item. At the it's right price. I don't know what a sunburst like clock is. See, that's oh, dude, better sunburst clock. It's like atomic Here style, go, 1950s, 1960s. A lot of times they're wood too, and they look this, amazing. We this sold listing them in our shop back in the day. Yeah, mm. it says Curtis Gear G E R E style birds in flight sunburst. M C M art. It's just wall wall art. And I sold it like in a day or two. International shipping, oh, wow. eighty-five bucks. Well, I see. And it was. Sirocco it's one. like this big. Sirocco, Homeco, those yeah. are good brands to look out for for wall art. Look at us. Okay. Have we talked way too much about reselling and <laughs> like, not enough seriously. about feces? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, there you go. Yeah, Bolo's the... Bolo alert. We should just call it the Bolo episode. The mm. Bolo. This is how you sell on eBay. But Dave, Bolo, this one was Bolo light knows. and metal. Light metal yeah, and cool. it's like and it was like yeah some like, of the shit. metal ones like the intense ones uh they could be three four hundred at yeah. least they were back in the day let's see Anna who's Man. selling Anamin right now other than Kevin. look at the market crashing hey, on the list or say eighteen or say didn't even care it's i can't it. go to the uns just type in commonwealth picker unsold there we go look at that somebody's trying to get seventy dollars for a number it's, two dude it's oh, big's, bigs collectible it's bigs. <laughs> Wow, Biggs, he is that. very confident. It's autographed, Kevin. It's <laughs> oh, it's because I signed it. That's it's good job, Biggs. Hey, wow, more power Biggs. to you. He probably already has three of them. The way you're signing stuff and I handing it, it out, yeah, seriously. He's got like a you're collection of signed your signature, man. Yeah. I'm getting the old mug and stuff. Susquehanna Picker like, asked a question on the Patreon. He said, "When you buy sealed Lego sets at yard sales, do you flip them immediately or hold for a huge profit years down the road?" Sell everything I sell. There's yeah, nothing sell, I guys. hold. The only thing I hold for like the future is not even for the future to resell necessarily is is gold and silver. Trash Cat Rescue said, "I know we're not supposed to talk about this, so if it doesn't get read, I understand. Now I'm definitely going to read it without." <laughs> yeah, I was say, you have know you, you noticed to on Kevin's picking videos, he oh, does boy, touch all the dogs' necks, maybe measuring them. Just an <laughs> observation. <laughs> Also, a disclaimer that I've worked in animal rescue many, many years, and dark humor is help is what helps me get through it. So there we go. I, like Kevin's different. like one of those old school undertakers that like pulls out the <laughs> the measuring tape and just like measures them up. So like, I got He's a got the box dog for that coffin one. all prepared. I'm sorry, guys. I know we said we'd stop. <laughs> sorry, Trash we, cats we, rescues. Fall. No, it's just yeah. it has nothing to do with the. Nothing's yeah. gonna happen. We're fine. This is fictitious. I mean, Kevin yeah. might be doing it. We don't know for sure. There's no proof he isn't. Uh, no nose picker said. That. No nose picker said. I hope everyone survives the eclipse. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's the thing, guys. That's a lot true. of people are scared of the eclipse. <laughs> uh, Y2K. Media Solid picker. Over. Has anyone sold any WWE items this week with WrestleMania last night and currently on right now? Also, I who sold... do you think will win, Cody Rhodes or Roman Reigns? I think Roman, but I, think, I don't know. I think Cody. Are I think? Uh, gosh, didn't Roman? Cody but I think lost. Roman's kind of retired. Oh, is it already over? Because The Rock, I think, had something to do with because they're what? cousins. Roman and The Rock are cousins or something. I think oh, Cody it might lost. be over already. Well, I said the American I said Nightmare. I was I was definitely rooting for the American Nightmare. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Rhodes versus Reigns. Cody Rhodes finishes the story at WrestleMania. That sounds like Cody Rhodes won. Did he win? Uh, that's what it sounds like. He finishes like. the story. is kind of vague. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, I think Roman Reigns is kind of stopping. He's not wrestling as much anymore, so it would make sense for... He's putting Cody. all his money, all his time and energy into being like the 17th character in the Fast and Furious. Anyway, no, I didn't, sell, I didn't sell any WWE. I did not. Did you? I don't I have much listed. I did. I did in my auction. I sold some of the 1987 stuff that I got last week. So you I got a cards. question about a Stone Cold shirt. Cards, and I, cards. I just kept, keep selling those bandanas, and it's ramped up, but it's not yeah. any... I sell those all the time so mm-hmm. hey i wanted to get to something before i forget is how many followers i just looked on the followers have we Did talked the about cigar this guy before? have he had two thousand no no no, four no people no. watching his live on and eBay. he was smoking that cigar oh, oh on, I, on I love that though that's awesome store followers <laughs> Because I get Kevin. You know, the weird thing is, is he yeah. said that's what he does, like for a living. He's he's a cigar <laughs> reviewer guy. And he's like, this is Dude, what I do. What? I review. I've got America. four people tipping me a flower every. That's ten cents or something. Like he gets yeah. two cents of that. I think. Wait a minute. He has two thousand followers. He says he does what for a living. He does. Yeah, yeah. That, that a TikTok followers. Maybe that, he said maybe I might start a YouTube channel soon. I'm like, they don't yeah, do that how for are you a doing living. This for a living. I don't understand <laughs> that. She must be selling a lot of glass. <laughs> my wife keeps showing me these people that are making a living with like farm animals on Instagram pages and TikToks, and she yeah, she's dude, like, "This so this could be us." I'm like, me "Dude, no." Six figures on TikTok shop, and I'm just sitting here banned on TikTok shop for no reason. Dude, whatsoever. I did TikTok shop for a little bit. I don't really. It's too much work. Yeah, it's too much. Work. Kevin, how do I see how many <laughs> much, followers like, on my store? How do I figure that out? You I have four. Point you go to your store, but me I was and trying to four point three. It was, it was, uh, get it to, you know, I get sensitive about the viewer sales and I'm like, why do I get so many stinking more than everybody else? It's crazy. And it's, I want to know what like your you followers have, are. You don't have like a lot of good stuff for regular I have 5,800 I think you just have like trinket okay. stuff. What do you have? Maybe. 20,000 followers wow. on my eBay store. 20,000. But I think it's Facebook. I'm come to the conclusion that, well, account. there's two. One is I actually read the comments when people leave them, and I think that encourages more of it. I do too. And the other is Facebook. It's because it's Picker, Flipper, and Facebook. I don't know. No, why, see, Kev, why? you're wrong. You're wrong. It's it's not that you read them. It's that they want you to read them, and they want to be associated with you. They don't want me to read their comments. It's a dirty <laughs> okay. little secret that they bought from me. Like, don't tell anyone. Oh, don't from tell you. anyone. Please. Don't tell them I want you, please. Okay. You're a terrible <laughs> a bit of charity reseller. for you. <laughs> they don't uh, want to follow you. I got a viewer page. sale, Kev. I think I could win the viewer sale challenge right now for the week. What's oh, your best okay. viewer sale for the week? Best monetarily. View- oh, monetarily? That is a great... For the week? Oh, you're going to make me go well, look. I'm just going right, to tell, tell you, mine you. is the Hot Duke. Came in and bought oh, 10 yeah. O-Snap phone grips. No. Oh, 10 nice. $30 phone grips. That's 300 bucks. Why? Because he loves me. And I love him. And it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? <laughs> they did see it. Um, I'm looking for the last It's not here. 300 bucks, right? You could probably No stop. way. No, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no chance. Probably drop no it. chance. So since we're going to drop that, I want to talk about your popcorn bucket. You sold it. I sold my popcorn Tell bucket. Tell me about yeah. it. Like, what's your profit 40... level? How'd you do? Uh, I didn't calculate that one out. So I don't know. what. How much was the popcorn bucket? 24? I don't know. 25? Like 20 bucks with popcorn where it's I'm at. It's 24, 24, okay. I think. Okay. It's that much cheaper. Nothing's cheaper where you're at. But whatever. Let's say it's 24 bucks. Maybe it was cheaper. Maybe I'm confusing it with yeah. the ghost trap, but the whatever. The ghost trap, I think, is 25. Okay, it's so I think for the normal bucket's 15 40, or 20. 44.95 plus shipping. Okay. And for, so you but, for oh, you know what it was, Dave? It was the popcorn bucket and, and, the, the, cup. and the cup that I got yeah. Coke in. So for 25. it was 25 bucks for both of them combined. So mm-hmm. to pay 25, got 44.95, and I got free popcorn and Coke plus shipping. That's okay. pretty good. So you made like ten bucks and got free food. More than that's ten. That's typically like if it's a good popcorn bucket to selling sixteen dollar. Yeah. That's that's typically like the price range where like it's worth buying. If you yeah, can get usually your popcorn my candy and your too. drink or actually for free and make ten dollars on top, then you did good. 15, yeah. 50, 10. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, He's got his well, abacus. I'm trying to figure it out plus the shipping. Bring your but, abacus out. Get not fifty out. But say You've twelve fifty to fourteen dollars profit. Yeah. So you could have gotten candy too, Kev. See? You know? Should have yeah. done that. Plus free Coke and whatever. He's I mean, counting how much that costs. He counts like he's in Oregon Trail, like how many packages of dried Dude, meat and whether Timmy's going to get dysentery and die. Good. What? Ghostbusters was not good. You told me I want to go see that tomorrow or the next so day. Dumb. It was good. 
It was I good. hate everything now. I don't know what's wrong. You're with old now, dude. You sucked. thought Oppenheimer Look, was going to be Rambo. Uh, I think. Well, Carrie, lower your expectations. I'm not saying it was more. great. I don't have high it expectations. It wasn't great, but uh, I. You got to understand. It is. I was. My expectations were. I just wanted Bill Murray to be in it for more than three minutes, and he was. So I was. How good. does he look so bad, and the other guy looks? So yeah, good. freaking Winston is Winston more. Is somehow like more jacked, jacked hey. than me. Like he <laughs> and Bill Murray looks six hundred. He looks ten years younger than us, and yeah. he's like 80. 82 or something like that. I mean, he's Kevin's age. He's, he's Kevin's, Kevin's age, age, but he looks way stronger. He's got huge muscles. Oh, no, dude, I just I'm thought like him. my Ghostbusters experience was just like I don't know. This story well, was just meh. It was, it was a little meh. bit different. There was but... Slimer. Slimer's great, but the rest Slimer's like good, was just yeah. meh. I yeah, know. I'm not. Look. I mean, nothing's ever going to be the, the Ghostbusters, but who plays I want to do Murray. Who plays Slimer? Andy Circus or like, I don't know, Andy Milanakis or something? Who plays uh, it? Nobody. Really? Somebody He's plays like, Slimer? Well, like I thought, like, remember like Gullum was like that dude running around and like yeah, but that, balls that's on him? different. But he actually that's... talked. Like, Slimer's only in it for two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He just, like, no, he's you know, in it twice. Right, spoiler. I was expecting it also, to be a, a sli- giant hey, butt now uh, for no all right. other reason. I pulled a Dave, and I'm wondering if I should cakes make a video about it. Cakes is what the kids it. call them. It's cakes. Okay. I sold a Rust thing. I don't know what it was. I sold a Rust thing, and I picked the wrong Rust thing and shipped it. And then oh two days God. later, I sold the other Rust thing on Mercari. Oh, no. I sold it on eBay. Somebody sent me an offer, and before I replied to the offer, it sold on eBay. At any rate. Can you spell the word you're saying? Russ, R-U-S-S. Oh, it's like a plush. Like plush. Yeah. yeah. And I've so they're both the same size, totally different, but I sold them. And so I shipped it to this one guy, and then one of them was a viewer. I'm like, thank goodness. So I'm like, dude, I shipped you the wrong thing. I have the right thing here. I'm going to ship it to you. Unfortunately, the thing that I sent you just sold to somebody else. Did you ship like, him you know, that guy's label with his replacement? No, because I, be I be an an wanted him to ship it ASAP. So what I did was I shipped him the right item, and I'm like, hey, would you do this? I was like, look, I understand if you don't. I'm going to refund the guy, cancel the order if you don't. But if you're willing to, I'll I'll send you five bucks. You know, I sent him a refund on his item, and he's like, oh, yeah, no problem. Dude, I'm like, losing. thank goodness. And you got to spend years. $2 to get your money, dude. You're screwed. It's oh, over. whatever. You might as well just quit, Mercari, like everybody else. Yeah, Mercari. Mercari is the worst. Customer satisfaction i ended up I, I didn't sell it on mercari it was and that's how i figured it out because there was an offer on mercari i'm like i just shipped that out i'm like mm-hmm. how can there be an offer on mercari but whatever yeah i i sold stuff on posh too which is oh a, here you uh, go i sold a sweatshirt i sold an atlanta falcons this is what i mean about dual branding atlanta falcons Garfield sweatshirt, 125 bucks plus shipping. The Garfield movie's coming out too. That might be it. Yeah, oh, and Fall like Guy, it. y'all. Fall Guy. Oh yeah, isn't that based on like an old timey show from back in the olden days? You didn't watch the Fall Guy, dude. I, I'm not oh, 70. Man. Oh, the Fall Guy makes Eastwood I've look so it. fine. That stuff's well, yeah, going up once right again, now. Eastwood, you realize Eastwood's like 900 years old. I don't, you know, you haven't saying? watched the bridge over the river. Kwai? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> World War II. Where I are s- my Werther's <laughs> and wheat pennies? I yeah, sold no. a fall, fall Guy model years oh, ago gosh. for like 100 bucks, and it's going for like 300 now because that movie's we should, going out. We should have a segment where Kevin waxes poetic about the old days. We'll call it like Werther's and wheat pennies. Wolfman's and give him goodies. Like two minutes. Hey, you're going to like Wolfman's this. Wolfman's goodies wants right. to know uh, what we do with defective animated plush. What do you do Defect, with it? Anim, defective animated plush? Yeah, like plush? you get it and it's mm. got like battery corrosion, whatever. What do you do? It's almost always not worth selling. I Turn put them it into puppets. In the trash. Yep. Put it right in the Turn them into puppets. People I mean, tell me totally. you can like replace the terminal metal and stuff, but I'm not going to do all that. I'm no. looking for profits, If your animated projects, plush requires up, surgery, it's a, it's a loss. Not just stolen. Chalk it up no. like day, or just throw it in your I uh, hate shipping hot storage locker thing you hate shipping <clears throat> animated plush i don't know it just depends on no 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 no. the <laughs> ones that have the bases on them and stuff and uh, i just the i don't ones know with the bases so. and a poly mailer they hang around till i got this winnie the pooh christmas one that i picked up and i'm like yeah it'll sell like it's like ah. just i did pick up a, a mickey one that for a buck, I wouldn't have paid more than a buck for it. I'm like, I'll put it on my Christmas whatnot. Hey, well, that mean, reminds me of something. Ones I find, and those I got a good. promo my whatnot show on the. T- uh, I got a few no, coming up. Though. Just listen, I, I do. This like is a good don't. one. This is a good one. Nineteenth, y'all. The nineteenth, we're giving away brand new AirPods, 
and we're giving away Chick Fil A gift cards, and it's the biggest show I think we've ever. But have seen. you tried the there new Chick Fil A chicken recipe? Everyone's up no. arms Oh, hey, it. here Did you go. Did you hear the the rock star flipper? What's his name? It's similar to that. It's uh, Cra- he's the one that like yells Kevin. at people who are parking. Correct. Real food. What is this, Kevin? What is this? Yeah. All right. So this? I've just I've, there's a place down North Carolina. There's like four or five cities down Winston Salem, King, and all this that have this Dario place. Dave, you would like this place. I think you should go check it out. It's like a mini chain. There's like six, eight restaurants, and that's it. But I discovered it. Well, I didn't discover it, but for me. <laughs> yeah, the Christopher no, Columbus of dark. Yeah, cool Kevin. Cool Kevin was saying he hates it when I put my arm on my head. Hates it. Oh, I don't does know he? Why. Yeah, he hates it. So now I've been starting, like, this whole episode, I've been doing two this feels, arms. This feels uncomfortable, but also sexy. I like yeah, it. Yeah, sexy is what I'm going for, you know, but it's just not where. Oh, Kevin's doing Balloons. some sort of animation down Balloons. there. Balloons. I can't Balloons. remember Selfies. the other ones. What's the rest Carrie, of it? You're doing, how are you doing it wrong? Just like. Oh, like, like this, like this. Your, you're like, no, look, it's he's not got that far. it's those little arms in the hands. He's he got those little t-rex. <laughs> Do I look comfortable? T-rex Am I comfortable arms, yet? This is T-Rex arms. <laughs> no, that's not like, like this, right? Hey, what you're doing? Yeah, I got an offer to be on another podcast. So, oh, did you? How much are you gonna up my pay on this one? Go for it, Kev. Have fun. <laughs> it's been a good run, honestly. At this point, look eBay, good. eBay, eBay podcast. I could completely sell out like Dave did years like ago. Hey, did I tell you about my comic book? What happened with that? Like, I sell Just a twenty-five hundred dollar comic, right? Twenty-five hundred dollar comic. Yeah, we've heard I paid, about. It. See, did I tell you, I paid sixty bucks <laughs> to insure it. Oh, and, really? And I paid sixty yeah. bucks to insure it for full value. Yeah. And the dude messages me on the delivery day and says, "Hey, what's going on? Didn't you get signature required? It says delivered, left with individual, but my wife doesn't have it." Okay, mm. and I was like, what? Yeah, you were tripping about that, too. And what sure happened? enough, the tracking says uh, left with individual. That's all it says, left with individual. And so you didn't get signature confirmation. You just got insurance. I paid for signature confirmation. I checked the box. It was $2 or whatever, all that. Refund. It. They just didn't do it. They just literally get a refund. did not do it. On the $50 or the $2? Uh, on whatever the signature confirmation cost. Well, what about the fact that the well, comic's I wouldn't missing? have insured it. Insurance well, did it arrive ever? Well, Dave, what about the fact that out? the comic was missing, Kevin? Is that not the bigger deal here? Well, you you're missing. Comic. Yeah, well, but obviously, listen. If he couldn't find the comic and it didn't show up, I would have heard about this long before this. I, so. I've heard. I've heard this said by uh, Kevin many times. Stop focusing on the macro and start focusing on the micro. He yeah, always says he that. has to focus on the micro. To get to the <laughs> Somebody <laughs> asked him. God, here we go. <laughs> no, listen. It arrived. It arrived. But the, the mailman just ran over my foot. Dropped it Ow. next to the trash can on the side of the garage. That's and said it, left with individual. And said left with individual. Two thousand five hundred dollar comic. With post office. Ba- make a make a post office sucks video. People love those. Yeah, I they do. do that. I didn't even talk about it in my video. I should have done that. No, oh, yeah, that's the good. Title. You're becoming like, such a pro with your videos. You're you're getting killer views on flip. I'm like, that's a good title, Dave. That's a good title, Dave. Is it? That's a good title. It's like every single one. Not the like, latest dang. one. But well, I the latest okay. One but I'm good. just saying, you can't have all bangers, you know. Yeah. yeah but bangers. I'm like, dang. Bangers and This is like Dave. I did have a couple. No, it just like worked out. Like he Whoever's lost his job and blamed game, me. Take a drink. Kevin said bangers. That's yeah. good for a, a the, shot. The, the he lost his job and blamed me was good. We all just got swindled by the reselling yeah. platform. I mean, I mean good, I'm like, yeah. dang, these are killer, man. Yeah. I mean, I was like, yeah. I, I used to be proud of myself. And I'm like, yeah. dang, if Dave could do yeah. it, I'm yeah. not anything exactly. special. It's twelve, <laughs> I, you know, those good clickbaits get me like twelve thousand. Yeah, man, yeah. Dude. I mean, you it, it annoys someday, me. Boy. It annoys me how much title and thumbnails matter, and not great yeah. content. Because hey. one thing I do is great content. But Dude, no, you don't. You don't even put out hey. videos. I know. Well, I do. I've been focused. I've done two videos this week, but they've three been three weeks ago. Three weeks ago is what I've I see done. Two here. videos on cards this week. That's where. That's where what the money do you is. do then, Carrie? Because you're not <laughs> over there helping me build. <laughs> Dibbed it. I don't see in the disc. What do I do? I don't. What do you do? He sits at one dollar card boxes. He sits at one dollar card boxes. TikToks every day. I have two feature length, and I call them feature length because they're long. uh, I do TikToks every day. You know, you well, do, not you, every you day. You just have it chopped up. I actually put a little bit of what they call the sauce on it. I do. I, I make it watchable. Feature length videos. I actually ship stuff and list stuff. What I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. 
That's that's a mystery we should yeah, leave It's unsolved. not that hard to get when you have only a few hours of awake time. You can't get as much done. It's, it's really I simple. don't sleep that much, man. I couldn't even sleep last night. But yeah. Wait, uh, Carrie, I, what's I, going I'm on? You stressed out again? I had a sleep. I had a well. You guys don't want to hear it. <laughs> I do. We do. Everyone's here. They loved it when we were real with our anxieties. They said oh, it's so no, relatable. Dude, it's, it's a no. Like I sometimes just can't sleep because I get. I don't. I don't want to get into it. Like I don't like. I don't like sleeping, and it, it trips me out sometimes. So I was trying not to sleep. It doesn't. You make don't sense. like sleeping. I don't know how to explain it. I All get right, anxious about it. sleep. I. I, get, I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's this, new, this new, there's this new trend in the I food world, the culinary too. world. Yeah. Uh, the new trend is called a butterboard. Have you heard of this? This is no. like the new trend. It's like a charcuterie. This is Dave's it's way like of telling that he's got a whole bunch of subscribers no. on his AI kitchen. This is so predictable, long, Dave. Long, I bet you long. they're like yeah, not even the real segue. people. They're probably not AI people. Many? Just tell us twenty thousand. So it's like a charcuterie, but kitchen? instead of cheese, you use butter, and it's literally just a board covered with unsalted, like high-end butter, and you put some salt on it, and then you'll do like. Quadrants, right? So what one makes quadrant, butter quadrant high will end? have, you know, like Perry Gold. It's just, right? isn't it just Perry like... Gold, less fatty or something like that, less, less greasy. What? I don't know. There, Wouldn't there, you want there it more, more expensive butter? Let us know in the comments down below. Hey, you like can start a, a TikTok and review butter. Make you a should. living. Just like stick at a time. Just take one bite out the stick <laughs> and just review it. That's what I do. I review butter on TikTok. You know, that's dude, dude that that's would probably I've got two thousand followers if, and four people attend dude, my live. Honestly, if you did it and you made it funny or whatever. Okay. So, anyways, the butter board is very good. You put like minced garlic and thyme and rosemary, and you dip bread in it. It right. It ends up being like you know, Carrie. You go. You go. Yes. You go to Outback and you eat all the bread. Right. Yeah. So imagine your Outback bre back bread has a butter. It's like board an Italian in very, like bread yeah. where you dip it in the oil yeah. and the vinegar. And then on the other side, you've got like butter parsnips. with like uh, orange zest and orange juice and some yeah. honey and I it's like a sweet side. It can be. Uh, it can be lemon then, Kevin. <laughs> Cheese it. Anyways. <clears throat> I made this for my cooking video and I went to town on that sucker. See, I told and you. And then by the end of it. By the end of it, I'd probably eaten like a full stick of butter just as a snack. <laughs> and let me tell you, I did not enjoy sleeping that night because I was like vomiting in my mouth like while I was sleeping. And so that's where I actually got the segue was the not liking. Yeah, sleep. that's how rock stars died, Dave. That would be a good way to go. From eating butter or for barfing no, in their mouths? From, yeah, choking on their own vomit while they're yeah, passed yeah. out after. No, know. my cooking channel is actually dead. I wasn't going to brag about that. That would be. That would be like a Dave way to go, though. Like choking on his own <laughs> vomit because he ate too much butter. He ate a stick of butter and choked on his own vomit. <laughs> it's Rockstar, but like, yes. you know, but like Dave has hair, but it is very Rockstar. Rockstar is now doing videos about the 99 cent store going out of business, by I the way. I don't really know what his niche is anymore. <laughs> Do you? Uh, it's the same one as the guy who's always talking about calling the cops. What the hails? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think I think his neighbors are trying to sue him from. I don't watch his videos, but I think I get enough information from the thumbnail. the mayor, the sheriff. The mayor, the sheriff. You, like, how allegedly. long has Rockstar Flippers profile picture been him with a gay lord of remotes? Like, how long has that been his profile picture? Is that long? Like, I don't remember that. That's when that's when I quit content. Right. When I have to be like, guess who's the remote goat? You know what I mean? J Ride and 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 yeah, uh, who would Rockstar win should just J Ride and. Just and right. Let me tell you, he has, I can't Look believe some of this stuff. Has that always been his his profile picture? Just him with a, a Halo to remotes? Is that normal? <laughs> let's, I don't know. let's look at the top though. So he's got <laughs> I don't know if you guys know he has a BMW i8. Uh, <laughs> and then what's the he other one? He's, Amazon. What is, he, what is he filming in the it other one? Is he filming cart, a concert? It says your cart with cookies. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't there. really know what's happening. You got the 99 cent stores going bang. Is he upset he about it? Is that what he's fan. implying by being sad about Dude, it? Dude, did you watch his Mercari video? That's actually pretty cool. I saw I, that Tim, he made Tim, one. Tim was saying that there was one Mercari video that was really ridiculous. All right, so I should one. watch. I should so watch my it. research for my Mercari video, I should watch Dave. And watch then Rockstar. I should watch Rockstar Flipper. And but then I did I need it over watch, three videos, so enjoy. You need to watch here's, Tim's on RIA. Here's my feedback. Here's my feedback. If you are quitting Mercari because of a $2 fee, you're not good at reselling, and you should probably just quit reselling totally. That's kind of well, what Tim said. Tim said, "Stop selling five dollar crap on Mercari. <laughs> Sell something good." If your thing, if you, if that even crosses your mind, is something you get upset about. Question everything. People have well, deactivated listen, all their listings. If you're paying ten what? cents more on eBay because they're bumped up ten cent fee to list something, so over ten dollars, I mean, you could be selling. Like I sell, you know, you could be selling four hundred things in a month. 
that's yeah. 40 bucks and you're not going to whine about 40 bucks but you're going to whine about people, two the same people that are taking down the mercari listings are also promoting at suggested ad rate of 14 percent on ebay and paying an additional 14 percent in fees they're also and calling they're even, eBay at four in the morning it. saying the Cassini wiped out their listings and they need to reboot so their whole store or whatever. Twenty four percent. Why can be so mean? Well, I mean this lovingly with, with love. I meant all that with love. Twenty four percent in fees is what they're paying on eBay, and they're mad want... that Mercari took away fees and has a two dollar <clears throat> charge to withdraw. Hey, did I don't I don't buy the takeaway fees part. I mean, I do to some degree, but don't there's buy it. there's <laughs> it's not fees. happening, no, man. No, it's the, there. Don't act like there's no effect. I don't believe that there's no effect to that. This weekend than I, I got you. I got like, you. I'm just saying. I don't dude, tell me there's no I effect just to think, it. I, I think there's a very minimal effect. In I their, think in I their, said in when the you, adding fees to the buyer. When you started going through this with me, I said it was a good decision for Mercari. Good for them. But I don't think it's like people are going to ignore the fact that they're paying that fee. I don't think so. There's other aspects of it that make it a net positive for them. But you know what I really want to see is I want to see somebody reduce a fee. They only ever go up. Just one time, somebody reduce just, a fee. Mercari just, just took it just away. Do it. They, completely. They, they took it away completely. No, yeah. dude. Why it's totally confused? different. Do you want it's them to different. pay you to sell on it? Uh, n no, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, okay, just take eBay, for instance. Why Why can't they just one time come in and just say, hey, you know what? We're going to reduce this fee by 10 cents instead of increase it. I don't understand how Mercari. Why would any away business do that? Like, count for you because they didn't take away all fees; they just transferred them to the buyer. Well, they're going to make more money. We're the on seller. This. Do you think they're going to make more? Yeah, or less we're pro money? seller we're here. Pro seller, not pro. Yeah, how many times have you told me off camera? I don't care about the buyer. That's what you I want said. more Skrilla. Listen, if you uh -huh. think, if you like think, if you think that there will be Dave. more buyers on Mercari because they are now charging the buyer a fee there's zero logic in that there's no there's no you defense need to watch to it. tim's i love the way tim put it mercari wants stuff to sell kevin i, and I if totally stuff get it stop selling because the fee they'll change something but if, I if, if Mercari I totally has agree. more stuff for sale, that's good. I mean, right now, I have not. to remember their platform has now been advertised everywhere by I, every news outlet. Listen, never even I heard get of Mercari. It. I said it was a good decision. Gonna I'm going to do a video on this. I, mm, you're going to okay. get more sales because of exposure. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's short term because they're in the news like crazy. I get that, and I, I totally agree with this. I think it's the right move for them, but you can't discount the fact that. It, they are charging the buyer a fee, and that will have an effect. But it's not, I, overall, I, it's a it's a good move. I think it's a smart move. It sets them aside. It it creates Kevin, a, a totally different buying or excuse me selling atmosphere. Totally. From and what it, I understand, though, from what I understand, and this is, I just I really want to like nail down this. You're saying they're not reducing the fees. They used to charge sellers a ten percent fee, right? Isn't that did the you number, know? Carrie? 10%. Yes, yes. They're now charging buyers a 2.9% fee, which, which means the, the fee has gone down fee. 7%. They have reduced fees from 10 to 2.9. Do you really and think a 2.9% fee is going to stop somebody from buying a, okay, a Michael you're telling Jordan me something rookie that card I'm they want for $1,000? That's, that's my point. You need to educate. I don't think it's so going to stop them. We were paying a 10% fee selling on Mercari. They took that away, and now the buyer is paying 2.9%. They're, oh, really? Yes. Okay, so that's not what you said on the previous video. What, uh, which yeah. previous video? The, the, the one we talked about it on this show. Oh, well, we didn't go into the minutiae. Look, if that's the we case... We didn't go into the finite details of the percentages. If but that's yes. the case, I'm shocked, and I'm, I'm extremely happy. So let's go back. Mercari, if I'm not wrong, started off with, this, with that model. They started off charging the buyer a fee and not the seller a fee. I mean, think about... Well, Kerry, you know this in the auction world. Yeah. Uh, most big auction, they charge a buyer and a seller a fee. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, that is when people complain and let, let me point when I'm doing this. So people take me serious. When people complain about eBay fees, for example, I always find it funny because like the baseline at an auction is 25% on mm -hmm. top as a uh, buyer's premium. And they charge mm -hmm. the seller as well on both mm -hmm. ends. So, I mean, I could very well see as time goes on, there being more buyer fees on eBay. It makes sense. That's the logical way for eBay to make more money is to start selling a buy, you know, a buy. Oh, a good lord, don't give me. I think they will. I think they will, dude. I think they will. It'll be I, interesting. I mean, I could be wrong. I'm gonna go try to add something to my cart on my. Oh, you could be wrong. Well, I want to see. Oh, what well, here we go. Charging. Don't Hold admit on. it. 
Don't admit it if you are. I just I bought mean, some Hey Dudes. I literally just bought some Hey Dudes the other day on there. So that smacks hey of desperation dude. to me. I mean, how are they at 2.9%? That's all they're making on a sale? Shoot. Here, so look, if that's I'll the case, you. I mean, why can't eBay do that and make that model work? That's crazy low. Who makes 2.9% on a sale and can make a... That just is... Were they trying to, to gain market share or something? They're trying, they're trying to gain to market share. Yeah, okay, maybe gain market right share. Maybe, maybe, but man, talk about reducing your income. I don't. I mean, you got to like you go to a shell company at that point and provide no feedback or okay, provide so no says, customer Kevin. service. Fifty dollars for the hey dudes, nine dollars for delivery, and then a five dollar service fee, and that's it. Five dollars. Okay. So that's what is five dollars on. 50 is that what percentage 10 percent so yeah that's 10 percent so right. why are they saying this? when you google it though it says a 2.9 fee that's the, that's got to be the transaction fee that's the percentage maybe. for the yeah, transaction the of it credit yeah, card okay. company maybe you're right maybe i misunderstood it maybe they just literally just moved the whole thing over to the buyer that's what i understood. i still bought it and i didn't even hesitate so that's what i'm saying like, that so there you go Mercari is just think counting it's gonna on matter dumb as much as people think. I think it will matter on some low end stuff, but if it's ten percent on on something you spend ten dollars on, are you gonna not buy it for eleven dollars? I mean, I, I can't get those. Hey, dude, they're discontinued color, and I can't get them anywhere but eBay or Mercari. And on eBay, they didn't have my size. So what? I mean, well, where else am I gonna get them? Five well, bucks, whatever. It's just cost. You could just not buy them. But just don't that. buy hey dudes you know don't give in to being middle-aged my other just ones wear something my cool. other ones are really gross looking so and they show up on my videos and just <laughs> i know somebody else who dude, wears hey dudes. let me tell you <laughs> i tell you man my parents buy me hey dudes for my birthday they look comfortable i really now, should wear them and they're so easy to put but on they the last up. like three months man, i typically terrible. just wear whatever gross. i find at the thrift store or whatever dave gives me from his inventory even if it doesn't fit for like six months that's I got a cool pair for you here, too, Carrie, next time you come. Thank you. Which, I'm Carrie, on. did you hear Carrie backed out of the 100-mile the yard sale? Oh, you're not coming? He's not nah, coming. That's I don't want to fly. I don't know. Oh, so it's that's just... why Dave's not excited about it. It definitely makes it less exciting. Carrie's not going to be there. <laughs> well, it's just like for four or five days, and we've been uh, traveling hey, nonstop, look, man. I, I want I, to, I totally, but... I, I totally get it, man. I totally get it. I mean, I want to see it. But then, you know, what's next, right? The 127, and there's just so well, much. That, I mean, it's honestly, when, with us moving East Coast, it'll make – I mean, I'll be hitting I mean, all the stuff. So. I cleared my schedule this year. I mean, I have no reseller events on it. Ray, we should shout out Ray's event, by the way. Y'all should go yeah, check Nashville. out Ray's event down in Nashville Flippers down in Nashville and, uh, and go to that. I am 99% not going. Holding out a, a sliver Depends of chance. On if he if he will give you the cash. You no, it's, I'd do it for him. There's He's a great dude. Thirty thousand appearance fee. <clears throat> Shut like up, a, dude. Y'all are seems so like a that actually that was hey, a question in the Patreon. Of, Joy of flipping said, "When is the next <laughs> trash to cash event?" I don't know. Maybe the Highway One Twenty Seven. Why can't I just? Container. I'm. I did is so there much going last on in year, Crossville y'all. during that. Maybe some sort of bowling game, I think. Some sort of bowling game. You two are stupid. I hate both of you. <laughs> well, there's no sense in causing havoc around the race. Everybody should, If we're going to do it, I want to do it at the same location. Kumbaya, the same the other campfire. <laughs> we'll have a fire out here. That's what we're going to do one day, Dave. We'll have a fire and get the kid. We can come over and roast some marshmallows. I think that uh, we should pay. You know, We should have food in instead of going out to these restaurants and paying 500 bucks for all these people. I think, you know. Usually you only have you only have fires out there when you're burning evidence, correct? We should start saving the <laughs> so, trash to cash funds for me and Kevin to eat like kings while you're Yeah, I know. Yeah. At least like send me pictures of what I'm paying for. <laughs> yeah, thank it's you okay. for this dinner. You guys have bought me so steakhouse. much stuff throughout the years. <laughs> I had enjoy. Somebody at the yard sale that's that I kind of know a little bit. They're like, "Hey, you know, I'm I'm glad to see you're not driving around that beat up old white pickup truck, dude." He's like, I, "Dave and Carrie say you got all this money and you finally have." And I and my little pickup truck now is just a nice yeah. little pickup truck, but they're talking about my old one. And I'm like, "Dude, I can't spend money on automobile. I'm not. I don't drive Cadillacs like these two clowns. Yeah, I drive the Honda most huh. of the time. Babe. We anyone who's on the top half of the podcast screen is a caddy owner. That's just the way. It <laughs> I'm goes. thinking we about it, Dave. I level, might. Kev. I might. The Escalade is what a I nice love, ride. What I love about the Cadillac is the prestige. You know yes, what would be funny? Worldwide is pulling yeah. up in three Cadillacs to a trash to cash event. That yeah, would be like almost in. Harry Tornado level taking the stupid limo to the Goodwill. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, that limo yeah. had a low IQ, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> and just 
Her, like a la Harry Tornado, just walk okay. out of the car and say, we'll buy anything, request. doesn't matter the price. I have a request, and it goes to any flipper in Josh's area. It's a great idea. I'm not so local, city. so I can't really do it. So to City, listen up, buddy. I want someone to go in and say, I bought out Harry Tornado's antique booth and then re-donated uh. re it to the, his Goodwill or something. Like, something like that. <laughs> I just see want if you he buy it. His whole in, or take it to oh. his flea market and try to sell it to him, like without telling. Buy out his whole flea <laughs> market or his really whole funny. antique booth. That's a way to get a Set up a table with all his stuff on it, and then see if you can get him to buy the stuff that you bought from his antique. Yeah. Booth. And then you could like leave or Soda City Flip stickers all over it was here or something like that, and you just buy you out could, his whole booth. You could like find the 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 flea market sellers who normally sell to him, just like seed just their give it to him. tables. Yeah, just literally yeah. just give it to him. And but like, like put a marking bag. on it. Josh or ripped you off like on when, this. Take it back. When Josh sells it and then buy it from him on whatnot and then yeah. like hide something in it. And so you <laughs> doesn't Josh so like bring doesn't Josh bring people to the flea markets like actors that he just says, Hey, yeah, I'm stand in your booth for a second, yeah. we're gonna make yeah, up. All of his content is completely fake, actually.